You're not cool to me. You're not tough to me. You're not the measuring stick of what street niggas listen to. Microphone check, one, two, what is this? Welcome to episode 315, 315 of the Joe Budden Podcast. Shit, I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host, Joe Budden, here with a few of my nearest and dearest friends. Maul is here, Parks is here, Rory is here, Erickson is here, Savon is here, Alex the Satisfactory is here. I want to shout out to our first and last time listeners. I want to tell the people that are here, if you're new, don't take it personal. We nah, don't fuck that. Take it personal. No, nah, man. No, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. You got to talk to the new people that, that are taking things personally, man. Because cause some of our listeners, we got some listeners that like do shit, like do some of the shit we be talking about. So we end up talking about them sometimes. Mm-hmm. So they take it personally. I don't know a lot of you niggas. <laughs> <laughs> they take shit personally. Are no, we not talking to them personally? But I ain't, we ain't talking about them personally. All right, so if we, you took a chick to Jamaica we, and you didn't know her, it's cool. My, Ma, my bad, bro. <laughs> I'm not off of that, Ma. Come on, man. What? You we'll would, talk about it. You would go to Jamaica with a chick. That I don't know? You, you just, know I would not. Okay, how much dough you know structure. Let's add some structure. How many DMs in are we? Right. Have like, you, you, fa- you, you know FaceTimed? We a few months in on the DM. Have you okay. FaceTimed? Wait, 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 wait. So y'all entertaining the fact of taking a woman to an island that you never met I mean, face to face? Uh, well, well, if you FaceTimed, you're face-to-face. We're trying to add some structure into this and, and uh, figure out sure. the background of how much Joe knows this uh, young woman. Oh, okay. It's yeah. not Joe. It's hypothetical. Of course relax, it is. relax. Yes. relax. <laughs> Rory, I see the games. I see the I'm games. I'm on your side. I see the games. I'm don't on start, your side. Don't start early, Rory. Uh... Wait, who are we looking for me? This yeah, hypothetically. Well, it's hypothetically. your hypothetical situation. What's the question? Have you, uh, have let's you... make it about Erickson. Yeah, sure, Erickson. He's safe. He's off camera. How do y'all know he's safe? Because he's, he's off, off camera. camera. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you FaceTime, you've been face to face. At least you have some sort of rapport. Man, fuck mm. that. Fuck that <laughs> FaceTime that. bullshit. I'm off the rip. Man, what's up? Nah. Off the DM? Nah. What's up? Jamaica nah, or nah? You can't do that. You're free next weekend or nah? Because what if she smiled <laughs> while you in Jamaica with her and you know that she got a corn the tooth missing? Then you get her some dental work while you down there because it's oh, cheaper. Are you, oh, you ready? Oh, okay. Right, I see. I see what type of vibe y'all are. It's just, why are you looking? Why are you looking at her? <laughs> she, she laughed at a joke. Yeah, you creep. Why are you objectifying a girl you didn't know that you brought to Jamaica? <laughs> she laughed at a joke, and then she laughed why? too hard. You notice nah, that corner I'm, tooth is I'm, missing. Nah. Then you, then why you, you in Jamaica why, with a chip? Why are you joking with, with this strange chick? <laughs> <laughs> you Jamaica, na- you nasty creep. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. Well, I'm just there at my phone, Ma. I know. I'm I not trying you. to get into the, the Queen's tonsil. <laughs> but you can't go to you can't go to a, a place like that. <laughs> and if girl. that happens, then I ain't just, just ain't about to be funny for the next two days. Nah, see, you can't do that. <laughs> nah, okay. I'm, I'm, you, can't, you can't. Nah, do that. shit. As much as women suppress, now you telling nah. me I can't suppress things? Nah, you Joe can't. can get dark. Don't tell me well, I can't suppress real things. Real sad. For I, a couple I, I, days. Who hey, wants to get dark in much, Jamaica? As much as Maul suppresses things, fuck out of here. I don't suppress. Who are you talking about? You definitely, we're not doing this with yeah, you right now. No, right, uh, no, no, no. I have a question quickly. I have a question quickly. Have you guys ever flown a chick from the same location yeah. as you, oh. but at, at a different time because you didn't want to sit next to her on the flight? Nah, nah. Y'all, doing, y'all doing way too much. <laughs> now it's just like, all right, what are y'all doing? This is what y'all be. This is. I, I do have kind of a funny story. It's similar, but it's not that. It's not that at all. And Sin told me to stop talking about her on this podcast. So, okay. so hi, hi, Sin. <laughs> we all love you. She knows that I love her. All right, but it's a funny story, real quick. <laughs> Listen, because <laughs> I negotiated my my Viacom contract first. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, before her, I think. No, no, hers was no, hers was done. Hers was finished, and I took a little while longer. And in mine, and don't be bad, Viacom, for me spilling spilling contract details. Uh, <laughs> I think it's illegal. But in my contract, I argued for a first class seat everywhere, as you should. Sure, they do them long trips every fucking season. Nah, fam, they ain't treating me like a peasant. Mm. <laughs> Put my yeah. shit up in there. Uh, economy thirty two B. So they gave it to me. But then Sin was right there when I was having the talk, and she didn't have it in hers. So then I was faced with, like, a decision to make. Go back and argue for her shit or just pay for it every time. 
Or just you got to pay no, separate. No for, way. No, no way. No. Oh, you got it. Yeah, yeah, you got to right. pay that. <laughs> All right. Pay that. That's what you and pay and pay the fee man. and pay the fee for the penalty to upgrade it afterwards. No, there's no such thing as be separated. <laughs> fuck, fuck. You try it if you want, buddy. No, you can't do that. You can't fly first class and your girl in the, That's by nasty. the bathroom. That's yeah, nasty. So. But what's but what's trash because I I don't fly first class. But traveling with your girl, no matter what, I'm gonna be in the middle seat. Like she's either gonna be in the aisle or she's gonna be in the window. Don't let her. No book. matter what. Don't I, let her. I, she, I, if she if we it? travel together, I will be in the middle seat. Yeah. You don't fly first class. No. Why? Me either. I, I choose my luxuries in other parts of my life. Brokies. <laughs> Whatever. No, that's a fact. Well, that's a fact. Yeah. I want to make that very clear. Yeah. Brokey boys. I don't want to no. get accustomed to first class and then things go awry. Now I gotta be depressed. You're at that mall. Just casually th- threw that out there to you guys. Mall is the illest. You the illest. No, I, I want to know why y'all don't fly. First y'all don't peep mall. You gotta uh, kind of know flex. mall to peep mall. It was a subtle flex. No, I'm just saying. You the, the, it's, it's the tone in it, the delivery in it. <laughs> no, if you have the option to fly first class, like right, like the surprise in first wait class. A, wait, is, wait, 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 mall. Everyone you has boys, the option. You boys, yeah, don't that's fly. what I'm saying. Like you the whole the world has the option. It's right there when you book. Yeah, but you can. You also have the finances to do it. I'm not saying you have to fly first class everywhere. Well, that's ev- not completely true. Every option is right there where you that, book. They ask you every. That's question. what I'm saying. Every, the whole world does. <laughs> Do you want a bigger seat? Do you want more bags? Do you have? Yeah. A, did somebody coerce you into this? Did you ever leave your bags alone? <laughs> hey, do you want to upgrade over here? Don't talk about spirit. Do you, like do you that. not want to be harassed at TSA? Because you just have to pay. That's all yeah, it takes. All, we don't care about your safety. No, no, no. <laughs> just no, if no. you pay more, you won't get harassed. Yeah, we'll walk you right through. <laughs> they finally have clear in Newark Airport. By the way, they do. I'm excited. They still got to fix that whole escalator up to the check your bag thing, but that's too local. I still got to get the TSA shit. I'm not doing clear. <laughs> Yo, you are such a pre-check peasant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got both, you, though. You don't you have both? Pre-check? Hell yeah. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> Living crazy. I like that pre-check shit. I just got mine. <laughs> <laughs> you just get yours and talk Spe- shit. Speaking, <laughs> speaking, speaking of different. flex. It's different. Yeah. It's different. It's different. Yeah. You know I mean? It's different. Yeah, Speaking no, of flexes, uh, they logged me out of my Gmail by accident. I went to YouTube and an ad popped up, and I was like, "This is how you guys live on YouTube." You pay for you YouTube. Watch, you watch ads. Yeah, premium all day. Yeah, you got money. Yeah, Roy, Roy got That's where all the first class. That's what I'm what? saying. Yeah, I use, <laughs> like, I use like, it. It's crazy to me. Like he'll do that, but he won't get a first class seat. Nah, no use, ads. But I use YouTube all the time. And and I can uh, close I can close my phone. Too, That's can, big though. I can That's close big. my phone and listen to YouTube. You, you, That's big. <laughs> you fly a lot. You do fly a lot. <laughs> Rory flies probably more than any of us. You That's probably, yeah, you probably get him in trouble. No, no, he doesn't fly that much. <laughs> no, it's on record that <laughs> yeah. I fly oh. more than anyone on this pod. Yeah, oh, okay. it's on record. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That was a surprise to me that he don't fly first class. But okay, I got my points. Yeah, but you can say a fact and get in trouble in your relationship. That is true. Oh, you fly a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You've known every time I left. You live in my house. You know when I'm not there. <laughs> it's crazy how that attorney. I live there. That'll be a real oh, argument. Oh, you love flying now, don't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, it's great. Yeah, but you got to tell everybody. <laughs> I, have a, I do this podcast every oh, week. Oh, my though. Jesus. Yeah. Um, all right, so where, where would you I gentlemen know. like to start? I want to put on the side, living with your girl, you start to realize like the moments in your day you never thought mattered that now matter. Like, 30 minutes traveling home was never an issue in my life. But when you live with someone, now it, if it turns into 45, 50, mm-hmm. something must be wrong. Yeah. yeah. What the fuck are you doing? Mm-hmm. You didn't know that? You didn't yeah. realize in your life those little moments that you had that were so meaningless are yeah. now the focal point of everything that you do. Yeah, you're triggering me now. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I got to keep it a real... I don't know, even know what type of burner that is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting triggered. Anyways, introduce the podcast. No, no, it's too late now, buddy. <laughs> we here now. You, you done opened the door. <laughs> Living with your girl is the greatest shit in the world when things are great, but then when things ain't the greatest, you just want to hurry up and die. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. Yeah. It's, it's true, man. I saw something yeah. online. A dude said, uh, the girl said her, she was giving her boyfriend the silent treatment, and she sneezed, and he texted to bless you from the other room. <laughs> <laughs> Said I love that type of shit. <laughs> when I got you ain't talking to me, I gotta text you, bless you. Wait, because that don't wait, don't be in the house not mad while she mad at you about some shit. Yeah. Oh my Jesus. No, the energy, the energy oh, transfer. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. Where where my first class money went, I got an extra room from the old apartment that I had, oh, which which mm, was to damn, become Rory. you know you have the living room where people yeah. can sit and all yeah. that corny shit, and then I had like the room where big TV. Mm-hmm. 
I could hang the things that I want to hang up, you know, right. listen to the, the songs that I like, yeah. right. you know, live the life that, Meditation room. that you know, you but actually want to live. is that room still yours? Uh, I am now yelled at, I don't understand why you spend so much time in there. Uh, you no. gave me the room. No. <laughs> the no. point yeah. was, I could have this room. I'm surprised no, no, no. she hasn't just <laughs> taken over and made another closet. No, it's because it's too cold in there. Uh, so and that's smart. no. Oh, listen, sit, I want to give men some tips out here. If you ever want to get your girl away, just Ace. crack crack a window that she doesn't realize. Like you know, you could just crack it just a little bit. <laughs> it'd be way too cold for her. Yeah, that's a good point. That's how you shoo them away. Don't know why? You just you crack a window. Mm -hmm. That's brilliant. Yeah, women hate cold rooms. See, that's what's dope about living alone because then you ain't got to sneak girls in no more. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, all right, that's all. That's some sick shit. <laughs> The no more is what's the funniest part of that. <laughs> no, he's so sick. He's so sick. He's sneaking them in. No, Does anyone else live here? No, no, no. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Hey, four years old. Who told you to take that whole thing? This is my, this is my role play. <laughs> yeah, this is my role play is that I'm living with a wife. Is six shit. We oh, are joking. God. It's all jokes. We are joking. This is an entertainment podcast, you guys. That's all it is. It's entertainment. Uh -huh. It's all entertainment. <laughs> I'm waiting to go more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Now drink. they get it. Yeah, they got to stay. <laughs> how many, how many, how many, how many attempts uh, of taking the picture of you watching the Joker with the Joker plastered across, plastered across your screen did you have to take? Two. It was more than two. You lying? No, yeah. it was two. Did you rewind it? Definitely. I'm like, look at this. No, this, look at this king trying to have perfect symmetry on the. I'm, <laughs> no, I'm took, hip to everything I you took, do. No, I, he's got the spot. I'm hip to everything no. Maul does. I took, I, just, I, we have it. an honest took, moment on the podcast. Know it. I have know done it, that in bro. the past to try to get a good pick. I took pick. the first one when he was uh, laying on the floor, and then I was going to post that one. But then when the joke came, I was like, no, that's the better picture. So I took that one. Okay, mm -hmm. listen. I will start with an apology to you guys. All right, I'm uh, sorry, you guys. Thanks, Spotify, and you guys. You guys, and shout out to those guys. Episode, did we do that? Sorry. I that. Yeah, I okay. That. I don't know if we got the hand rubbed up. In that moment of spoiling Bad Boys Three for you guys, I should have. I should have acted. That was a dick I should have acted with more compassion. Mm -hmm. You know. That was a dick move. I didn't mean to do it. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Only because it, I needed more compassion in the moment. So I'm sorry, you guys. I'm back to announcing spoiler alerts when they happen. Don't be angry at me anymore. People were really mad at that. No, nah, yeah, they, they were mad. They was, they was giving it to me. Yeah. I had numbers in my phone from like people that are at, that are helpful in, at the places I have to go, like. Uh, the fucking Mercedes salesman. Niggas just start popping Shmoy, up on my phone. Boy, it's the flex Yo, cast. nah, that was a dickhead move, fam. <laughs> nah, that was fucked up what you did. Yeah. I'm hearing some people no say tent. they didn't like it, though. They didn't like the movie. I see. Well, there will be people that yeah. Yeah, I don't like things. Too. That's fine. Oh, Anyways, if, if we don't do spoilers, how about we talk about power? <laughs> spoiler alert. Power, spoiler. power does their own spoilers. Since, since we all know what's going to happen now. Yeah, no, true. we don't know what's going to happen now. Uh, oh, yeah. F they, 50 tried to... Well, for those that don't know, a, a Phil, leak, Philemon roars. A leak went out. Shoot of, the free throw on these dudes. Power, uh, <laughs> where it showed who killed Ghost. I'm not going to say it because I have compassion. Same. If you didn't see it, they, but then Fifty then leaked another leak no, we, of the leak of someone else killing Ghost <laughs> to try to throw us off about the leak that the leak came from. Mm. And and be clear, I am going to say it, but I'm going to say sports. Well, there's only two more people first. left <laughs> because because I, I wasn't so angry at. at at this spoiler alert at the ending being leaked because after the Tommy episode, I felt like I had a pretty good idea of who did this. Yeah. Um, the whole let it go. Tommy thing kind of told that, us who, that, who that, it would probably yeah, be. That yeah. gave, that gave me enough. Also the conversation that I'll call him Duke for now that Duke had with Tommy in that Tommy episode mm -hmm. where he was like, yeah, nah, I'm not going to jump in the middle of that. <laughs> Like, it's just a few things that gave it away for me. Uh, again, I really have been enjoying these episodes since Ghost died. Uh, <laughs> oh, That's fucked up. Oh, I was serious. <laughs> I think they've been really good. They've been a lot, I enjoyed the zombie They've episode. been a lot better than they've been. I'm one of the few I'm, that I'm, enjoyed the pa the, the pause, pause, whatever yeah, you, name you is. You buy yourself on that. I need I that. I need that hour back. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't particularly enjoyable. I, yeah. I didn't like that one. I loved it. I loved it all. Um... I don't believe any of that, that shit that 50 is saying about, oh, you don't know who it is because we filmed nine different endings. 
Nah. I you gotta, don't believe it? No. I think we have the leaks in our phone now. So. Well, and I'm not saying that they didn't film nine different endings. I think the ending that's being aired has been leaked. <laughs> okay. I see. They yeah. could, they the, one, st- the one they picked. They, yeah, they could still have nine different endings, but this is how it's going to end. Okay. So Ghost is dead. Uh, it appears that, that he has he has passed. He's perished. I won't believe it until there's a funeral, <laughs> just because I know how the writers on this show are. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to do that. I watched 50 die in a blaze. <laughs> That's very true. Yeah. Back when the writing was better. And then he would, then he was right back. He went to DC, got patched up, met, had a girlfriend. Got some Neosporin. Had, mm. had a girlfriend that was a killer. Brought yeah. her back up. She did all the work. Like, yeah. yeah. No, I've, seen, I've seen how this goes. You're correct. He, he could still be alive. Yeah. But. And the, and the news isn't going to tell us. Yeah. And then Tommy and then Tommy uh, Instagram something that said Tommy season one. I saw that. that. Yeah. And then I was faced with the prospect of all right, how much do I like Tommy? <laughs> I, unfo- I thought that was your guy. I unfollowed him a little while ago. Oh man. Yeah, man. When, when no. Holly, well, what was the no. po- what was the post that did it? It was different when Holly died. <laughs> he was a big he was a big Holly fan. <laughs> <laughs> he was really fighting for, he just for Tommy and he Holly. Just, he just wasn't the same after that. <sighs> yeah, no, nah, I feel you. No. Nah. <laughs> His, his personal gram in real life just wasn't the same. Yeah, yeah, man, it wasn't it? But I still, I still fuck with him like the, the actor. Uh, no, you don't. You don't follow him. Wait, so is is Tommy? I was no longer invested in the character. That's like his real Instagram. Though. That's not like his character's Instagram. Yeah, but his Instagram, I think, is mostly power related. <laughs> and, he's, and, he's mostly and, Tommy and on and there. The, and the, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the pics that's not power related are just not. That interesting. I well, I see this. what he goes on to do. He's forever Tommy. I hope he knows that. Like he could yeah. be in a straight comedy movie now. It's gonna be your Tommy think he's funny. Well, Power was a comedy <laughs> so comedy to that. some degree, and his acting is a comedy to some degree. Um, is he the lead here, or is Carmela Soprano the one? Because I saw the side by side, and looks like well, she's hat. she's the leader here. <laughs> Oh, oh okay, 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 okay. Got you. Okay, got you. Or do we do we know if he's trolling Savon? Mm, they did nine different endings, so we don't know. <laughs> I don't want us to help carry the word trolling into the new decade. Or I'm with you. Alone? <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. You want to kill it? I, yeah, I don't want us to I'm partic- with you. participate Tom, we gonna kill that in, in that. I don't know. I'll be there picture. Okay. Um, that's all I got on 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 power. Yeah, I don't think we were gonna start here, but it was leaks, and you were apologizing for your leak. This nigga Tommy ate a SIM card, bro. <laughs> like come on Like uh, And none of y'all Gonna t- speak to that <laughs> He ate a SIM card Like Come on fam You never did that so you, you weren't invested Into the I killed your though. father But you come are on. now Gonna be my father figure Thing they had going on there And did y'all notice That Cedric the Entertainer Got killed Did y'all know That was Cedric the Entertainer On the floor Like on the shootout With, with Ghost and Tommy <laughs> Y'all didn't notice that well, in the teaser, in, in the teaser for the next episode, Cedric's in it. Oh, you brought the. That's what I'm saying. Like, he, so he got killed. I was like, "This is the most random body." Like, Cedric the Entertainer's on the floor with a gunshot, gun, gun holes in him, <laughs> bullet holes in him. I saw you. Were, I saw you were angry that Tommy shot, shot dude in his glasses. From that was his, a good from, shot from his car that was really seat. Good shot. He got sniper. lucky. Sniper. Got lucky. Sniper. This is, we watched this nigga running a penthouse with an AR and not hit nothing. <laughs> All of a sudden, he got. So that's a tough gun to shoot. Yeah, man. it's a little it's a less really, accurate. It's a really thing. tough gun. Yeah, it's like, it was yo. dark in the penthouse. Yeah. Right, it was broad daylight yeah. over and, here. And Turtle's well, a little squirmy. I, I will tell around. you, but then I'd have to kill you, California. Boom. <laughs> like, yeah, no. Nah. Like, yeah, you man. should. I mean, you, that went over you, your head. Yo, you shouldn't have snitched. You shouldn't have snitched. Why are you home? This shit just got way too far away from reality for me. That's all. It's not reality. Now you remind me <laughs> no, of. But now you know what you remind no, me of right now. Nothing show them in reality since episode no, one. No, 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 don't get it twisted. No, no, when remind- this shit first started, you could kind of like feel like, you know what? I could see a dude living a whole different life being a, a drug dealer, killer. It happens. It was somewhat real. You could see it. Like, you could kind of feel it. Now it's like. you a lot about, where, get about the Maul's upbringing. I wouldn't want to be the one to say it. <laughs> I'm just saying, you can kind of see no, it. Like, no, I, I, no, I couldn't, Maul. Nah, you can see that happening. Like, nah, not for me. <laughs> this shit just got way too far from reality. It's like, all right. The, fir- the first scene, the club owner walked in the back and shot someone in the head and then uh, scared, uh, told, enough, uh, told his girlfriend to get out of town. I'm yeah. sure that's happened. I could see that happening. Yeah. Right. Y'all don't watch enough First 48. It's, true. it's happening. Have that you seen The true. Outsider yet? I haven't. Somebody just told me to watch that. It, my, it, it pops up on it. my thing all the time. Uh, I did see the, the Twitter narrative that I was waiting for somebody to say. Is this all Tasha's fault? 
everything. Mm. Just because she got mad that that ghost hugged uh, Angela in the club because he knew her when they were kids. <laughs> and it, it all just <laughs> spiraled down from there. It all, it's always women, man. <laughs> toxic <laughs> women. <laughs> These women are toxic and nobody will say it. It's true. I mean, Nate, Nate. It's coming, though. They're going to get me on one of them green screens and I'm going to give it up. <laughs> <laughs> name, name a movie or series of this type of ilk where a woman wasn't the downfall. No, nah, ilk is my word, Roy. Ilk, since when is ilk your word? Yeah, he's ilked a lot. I've, I've ilked a lot. Yeah. I feel like I want to pause that for some reason. It's not even the definition. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I ilk that. <laughs> That's nasty. I'm not doing this for Roy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a savant. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we giving you your credit on this uh, party and weekend shit? Because I'm still not. Oh, uh, I'm starting to. I'm, I'm falling in line. Yeah, I'm falling in line. Joe sure. was right. There's something there. Yeah. It's definitely something there. Yeah. Or, or are they uh, are they in cahoots? That's another. I thought about that too. Are they in cahoots? Maybe and did Joe fall for it and is promoting it without even knowing? Or is Joe in cahoots? Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's a lot, lot to unpack here. There's a lot of cards. <laughs> now he just up. broke it down. It's whoa, a lot of cahoots. Like it could whoa. be. It could be it's all. A, it's a lot of cahooting. Cahooting, sure. yeah. yeah. Y'all don't think Joe be in the six too. Y'all don't think Joe is cahooting. Yeah. What? You're the cahoot her. <laughs> yeah. You're a cahoot. You are a cahoot. You're a cahooter. Yeah. I am. <laughs> yeah, no. We, we just said that. Yo, look at the things I gotta fess up to. Yeah. One day I'm gonna come in here and y'all will be able to be vulnerable and share things about yourselves and your upbringing as well. It's That's only me that I, I get it, the Joe Button podcast, but fuck that. You think we cahoot too? I've cahooted. Yeah, I've been in cahoots. Everyone has to cahoot at some point. I'm a cahooter though. <laughs> <laughs> like I look for the cahoot. But you I mean, appreciate the cahoot. But when I'm cahooting with you, like you said, you did they, see weekend at that party. Yep. Oh no, I cahooted. I cahooted with the weekend. Wow. I did. Wow. But listen, man, and let me also say this because there's a huge misconception out there that because you're an introvert, that that means you're shy. <laughs> no, you just misconception. That's not true. I prefer to be inside. <laughs> that's it. But when I get going, <laughs> <laughs> that's all Summer Walker was trying to tell you. Mm. Doesn't mean she's shy. She just likes being home. Maul was not introverted with Summer this weekend. I saw. I, I saw the comment. What happened? What Maul did? What I did? Dropped a little comment. Oh, Summer's oh, you face. dropped a jam on him? No. I let her know what it was. <laughs> yeah. Comment is not a jam. <laughs> yes, did. No, it's you not. did drop a jam. No, I did not. What was I the did, jam? It's just a comment. What you said? Shit's all right. She had, she had a little blue cat suit on if, walking to the car. If you know? people knew you, man, I, I, I just, I'm hip to I everything. I just said shit was all right, fam. Meaning she looks good. That's you what. also let us have a two-hour summer conversation about her show before telling us that you were at the show. No, <laughs> I, was at, I was at the show. I just want to throw that out there. Yeah, I don't. It did think, happen. I don't I'm think hip. our listeners want to hear I'm us hip. talk about we're not, summer yeah, we're not, shows. We're not. I know we could call justice. Am you can no, phone no, in. You can phone in. Whatever you want to do. No, we're where we. All Let's let's give some more structure to this podcast. Got all over the place. Uh, All right, Joe has said for a long time, I got this, Ivory King. Have at it. Joe has said for a long time now, and I got laughed out the room again. Oh, Joe, how could you say that? No, I don't feel like that. I mean, I just, now you bugging with that one, son. (laughs) Uh, I said that I think there's something that exists between the weekend and party next door. Uh, By the way, I'm going to cut you off. We have to, I've been... I've done it myself, but we have to stop with the laughed out the room. I got killed for. Yeah. I was the only one saying narrative. Yeah. I'm not saying that's the case here. Yeah, I've done it plenty of times, <laughs> but in 2020, we have to stop that. When yo, I was getting killed. It'd be one person, right? <laughs> It'd be one yeah, person. One person could really be lighting you up, <laughs> and you could feel like whole timeline was killing me. Now they weren't. You could feel like you're being attacked. <laughs> okay, yeah. you were saying uh, that something exists between the weekend and party next door. Mm. I don't necessarily know what it is or where it stems from, but I felt like for the past few years, personally, The weekend has gone out of his way to step on any announcement or move that Party Next Door was trying to make. And even when we Googled that, whatever you Googled, I later, um, I later found out that that was incorrect, what you said. And he did step on whatever release that was like the next month later. So now it happens again. A month is a long time in this space. Depends on what year it was. Nah, if no, if, no. If you tweet, yo, my album is coming in this month, and then 
some huge megastar comes and says, <laughs> yo, dropping tonight. <laughs> like, uh, or dropping tonight. Megastars don't do things on a whim. <laughs> That's what y'all keep telling me. But I don't think, I don't think any of it is on a whim because <laughs> clearly he had these things done. Party Next Door put a video out. We can put a video out an hour later. Mm-hmm. So clearly yeah. the video was done. Both the, of them. Yeah, so I'm not saying that... Yeah, these, this is just an extension of the first video. I'm just which, saying... Which might actually speak more to Joe's point. You're just doing the extended shit now? That's what I... <laughs> that's what I'm... An hour after I said... After, you just gave us the B-cuts? Like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> like, come on. You, you gotta say that there might be something there. Uh, I think Maul's reply to me at the time was that. What, actually, what y'all just said. Nah, we can ain't... Well, no, no I, I said there, that... Nothing... I, that was you, yeah. Well, no, I said that there may something may exist there, but Weekend is not going out of his way as a megastar to pin his rollout around whatever Party is doing, especially when Party's the quietest person on earth. I I still feel that way. Okay. I still feel that way. I think this is more evidence of just that. Um, Party said his album was coming in January, and it ain't but so many days left in January. Uh, yeah, right a lot it. of people were tweeting me it's coming on Friday. I didn't. I looked once people were tweeting me that. I didn't see any evidence of it, but that's what the streets was telling me. All right, Sam, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, Sam is the streets. Sam is the streets? Yeah, when you, engage, when you engage, your girl's the streets. For certain <laughs> topics, for that's sure. That's a fact. It yeah. is. It's, it's true. There's so many things I know about in the gossip world that I would have never known about at all. I missed that part of the relationship. Yeah. Did you guys hear about uh, Nikki Leakes and uh, Wendy Williams? No, I missed it. <laughs> well, you should tune in, Parks. <laughs> Is it it's good? getting spicy. Some good stuff. Ma, Ma don't even, Ma won't zip line in Jamaica with a chick that he don't know, and he don't get the pillow talk. <laughs> Am I missing out? Yeah, that'd be, that'd be yeah, some it's funny. very exciting. It's enthrall- enthralling. Now, nah, pillow talking is cool too if y'all bump into a good convo. Yeah, yeah. It'd be, it'd when be you funny. bump into a good one, it's like, oh, shit, but I, I, talk, like the, get, I like and, the and, and women only unlock that part of your brain. As men, we don't care about the gossip shit, even though you could make a case that this podcast is that, but we don't care. And then you start caring and it'd be funny. You are not an avid listener of this podcast if you think that this is a gossip <laughs> podcast. I know. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's another part of the brain that I didn't know existed, but man, is it funny. Yeah. <laughs> that gossip shit is hilarious. It is, man. And but, just, but and, wait, wait, hold up. And, bad, like... and, and just seeing the shit that your girl get a kick out of is cute. Yeah. That's I, cute. But yeah, but or like I, what I, women care I noticed, about. Yeah, I, I noticed. Yeah, that. like they care about the dumbest shit. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, you notice but things women care about anyway. Yeah. They don't have to be your girl. Like you know things women care about. Like Look you peep me. it. Oh, and every night I go home saying, "Why do they think I'm toxic? <laughs> <laughs> Where are they getting that from? Yeah. Like, this is an entertainment podcast. <laughs> they don't get that yet. Oh Jesus! At man. all, right? Anyway, all right. What were we talking about before party, party in the weekend? Up, we got in our chauvinistic bag. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't have anything on this. I still think the same thing. I think this is more evidence of that. And party on is only but so many days left in January. Uh, the the video looked a little familiar to me. Parties, but you know, it's neither here nor there. Where would they get? Where do you bite this from? Uh, oh, this is a a group with fruit, and they have feelings. Oh, uh, y'all did the claymation first. I'm not gonna say we invented the claymation shit. It's just the timing. I don't know. Oh, they stealing from the Duce boys. <laughs> I don't know, Wait, man. So it, you and Party got beef. He's trying to step it, on your it, shit. It might might be that way. You man. gotta link up a week. Matter of fact, now I think about fuck that. Nah, emotional oranges. We started the claymation shit. No one's ever done claymation before. Us. Big facts. Nah, that's a fact. <laughs> yeah. There you go. That's yeah. a fact. Yeah. No, Party. Chill. chill. Don't turn orange no, on cool. these dudes. <laughs> don't turn orange on them yet. It's my Rory's. natural complexion, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> that's Rory's Hulk color. <laughs> no, then I'm always the Hulk. I'm always orange. <laughs> that's his Hulk color. I'm going to just say this because it ain't but so much important shit to get to. Ma has expressed that he has a theory about me. Mm-hmm. But it's the same theory that I've had about him for quite some time. <laughs> Which is... And, he, and, he don't, and he don't understand how I could have that theory. And I would like to have that conversation. Okay. Well, let's have it. Hit it, Jack. <laughs> Tell me a theory. That you have a girlfriend. Joe, you didn't tell us? Well, Ma, why do you have this theory? Is it his behavior? Not behavior, just certain things that he's more uh, conscious of saying and not saying now. On the podcast? Yeah. Uh, I feel like I've always been that way. You think someone's listening? Oh, no, they're listening. (laughs) 
<laughs> they all listen now. <laughs> Trust me, my phone lights up. They all listen. Yeah. I think that Maul. You see the IG stories. Yes. Locked in on Maul, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they love them timestamps. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they love them timestamps. Lo- they love them timestamps. <laughs> They'll send you a timestamp. <laughs> The 47 minute mark Yeah They tried to go in on me Screenshot That was like her sub <laughs> Screenshot it at the exact time That shit is a direct When it come to your phone On the random tip Yeah Like you somewhere Chilling getting coffee Or some shit And a timestamp Hit your line <laughs> from somebody, And it's not from Savon Nah Nah a word Nah Like whoa yeah. <laughs> Like I don't even remember What we was talking well, about right well, there. well you two are dating Or last Wait, time out, well, wait, both wait. have girlfriends I wanna know more, when More more has a girlfriend though Mo, all you didn't tell us? You definitely have a girlfriend. Joe, I do, you know I don't have Mo, do, I, this do, is you, do you want a double? Fence now, you huh? think I'm swinging? You want a double date? Oh, he probably calls it a wifey. Mm, okay. Yeah. You got a wifey. Uh, I, don't, I don't have a wifey, yes, a girlfriend. Queen. I don't have a yeah. queen. I don't have any of Well, no, he paints his nails now, so maybe that's his muse. Yeah, but she put him oh, on yeah, yeah, muse. But, but she put him on to that. Mo has a muse. She put him on to that. No. See, and that's my maybe thing. Maybe that's his girl that paints him. You started doing some different things physically. That's normally a sign of a woman complimenting a man, fixing him up a little bit, putting him on to what's swaggy. Mm. She fixed your nails? Mm. A couple of weeks ago, you suddenly hinted to a movie date that you went on. I didn't hint to that. I you was... said you went to the movies. <laughs> I just said it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hint to anything. So y'all was on a movie date. But we also, no. we also know that you think going to the movies alone is really trash. Mm-hmm. So I put one and one together. You do watch said, movies. Ooh, Did you get two? Maul wasn't alone. No, no, I wasn't alone. I think was, you're pretty cognizant of, of what you say and do not say what you share and will not share on your platform. I'm like that in life. You know that about me. In life, you know that about me. <laughs> you, I'm, this is the same way. You know that. You won't invite us to your house. True, because she could live there. Yeah. yeah she's I, there. I, uh, yeah. Uh, I think, <laughs> I think you live. Uh, the, the lighting color has changed. It was more like a, a masculine yeah, blue. Yeah, now uh, it's a fuchsia. It's fuchsia. Yeah, it's now it's a fuchsia. fuchsia. Y'all got me. Oh, That's a good oh one. Yeah, uh, you're not future. You're fuchsia. <laughs> Joe, don't ever call me fuchsia again in your life. <laughs> yeah, nah, you're, no, no, I'm not. I'm it all. Is. It's still me. <laughs> it's still Maul sitting here. Your fuchsia. You live with a girl. I do not live with a girl. Yes, you do. I invite was, us over I then. I promise you I do not live with a girl. So why you won't invite us over? I don't, I don't over have a girl. Okay. I don't live with uh, a girl. How many active toothbrushes are in your house? Two. How many kind of soaps? Who's the other one? one the one that, that lives don't there. Say, don't say Kanye. No, one is my travel toothbrush. Don't say Biggs. No, one is don't my say, travel toothbrush. No, that's toothbrush. Hove sometimes when he got to get low. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> use my, use my spot. <laughs> <laughs> He come use the yeah, second. Brush yeah, my he stayed at my house bro, when man. he wanted to get low. <laughs> I think Kanye staying there is funny. Hey, I God. just saw. Hey, I just saw uh, Erica Mina spend the night at Remy's when she had to go get her head together. <laughs> okay. I see it. I see the correlation. Yeah, that's what happened, man. No. The correlation between Maul and Hove no, and is, Erica Mina no. and, and Remy. Yeah, yeah, same, same, yeah, same. Yeah, same. yeah it's not same thing. Remy is girl Hove for Erica Mina. That's true. <laughs> for Erica Mina. <laughs> You are stupid. What? <laughs> no, but no, I don't have a girlfriend. This is what I was saying. I was saying that, and these and they're just stupid, so ignore them. And I was saying that we have more, our audience has grown. Mm-hmm. To include all your girlfriends. And yeah. in that, mm-hmm. and in that, people who may not normally listen to the podcast mm-hmm. are now listening to the podcast. And I know that well, because they text me. Well, my question, my question was before we moved on to his apartment. And they was, text Maul. At what point did they start listening? And I said, after you have sex with them four times. So four <laughs> is the number. Yeah. Three won't get Let it done. Let me think about that. No, three won't get it done. Three's not Even done. as an eight? No. No, no. no I, I think. As no, an eight, the at, first time. At, right. You would think. They, they locked no. in. Or maybe second. I disagree. You know? I think at, at at four beats, she's angry at something you said on the pod. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but she won't speak that, about yeah, it until the fourth beat. Yeah, though. yeah. That, that's, yeah. That's, that's, yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying. Because three three beats, if you move in the same circle or go to the same spots, it could just happen by coincidence. Yeah. You in the same spot, like, let's go back together. One of those One of those. was a makeup session like y'all yeah, was lightweight arguing about something and then mm. it was makeup sex or she just gave it up mad fast unexpectedly yeah <sighs> aren't those the best oh. <laughs> yes queens <laughs> no it's scary too though See, as men we don't ever share those stories that can get scary Absolutely. well at some point because we, obli- we oblige at some point as a man you get over the well she's done this with everybody 
You just get over it. No, that's not the scary part. The no, scary yeah, part that's not the scary part. The for attachment me. that is I don't, coming. I don't think about what niggas this worked on before mad niggas. This is great to me. <laughs> 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 they did a great job getting her hey, fine tuned. Yo, well, I'm not one of those dudes. <laughs> <laughs> fine tuned. <laughs> her off season was great. Oh. <laughs> she worked on her game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you think I'm the only man around man. here that thinks she's first the most improved the, player? First one in the gym, last one out the gym. Yeah. Fam, I, I, I'm a realist with myself. This feels great to me. I know you niggas know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't the only one that found this attractive. No, that is true. That's like when you meet the chick that got like three kids. Like, I get it. Yeah. yeah. No, I see why, some, they, some, why they didn't pull out. Some, so yeah, <laughs> somebody in Bridgeport caught you. <laughs> Listen, 95 is tricky. <laughs> it's just it's tricky to get past. <laughs> I can see you stopping in Bridgeport. That's what we need a show about. How you 95? Met, how you met your baby dad, man? Oh, you don't want to There needs to be a documentary from Boston to, say, Philly. It's in Boston. No, nah, no. Nah, oh, no. We got to go past D.C. <laughs> it's in uh, Boston. Start at Boston and then maybe to North Carolina. Just 95. Just a doc. And I think Shit, if you know, you know. You might as well just go away to Miami. I suppose. Yeah. Don't stop there. At four beats, she's like really invested in you. And yes. like she she wants your life to become hers now. Yes. At that <laughs> yeah. point, y'all having that conversation. And you didn't know. You didn't know about her abandonment issues. No. <laughs> you over there just like, why is she so attacked? No, that's. Because <laughs> you know you ain't giving it up that good. But yeah. that, that's the scary thing. Like I ain't thing. even turning on yet. That's the scary thing about men and women, though. Women after four beats will know. She'll start talking like you. You don't know anything about her after four beats. This no, now, now, now she done told a whole conglomerate of people that you have no idea about. Yeah. And that's the scary part, too. Don't do that. Like, don't start liking me, right? And then go pop shit to your two baby daddies and your crazy ex nigga that just came home. So I got a new nigga now. Yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> and then, and then I don't, yeah. I don't know, know what none of these dudes look like. <laughs> they don't really know how I'm giving it up with you. Yeah, that's scary, man. Don't do that. Yeah. I don't want to inherit uh, inherit the third party beef. No, I don't. Yeah, you got to start telling your. I seen. I seen. Yeah, don't I, use don't use me as leverage in your arguments. I seen people get smoked that way. Listen, I was the other night. <laughs> Pretty common. The other uh, the other morning, actually, the TV was just still on. It was on ESPN two in the morning, mm-hmm. uh, and they was running all the great thirty for thirties, <clears> like uh, the Randy uh, Randy Moss story. Mm-hmm. What mm-hmm. else did they show? Classic. Uh, uh, Ray Carruth. Uh, mm. Bo Jackson, mm. and they showed, and they showed, uh, and I forgot about this. Why I forgot about Steve McNair's story. Oh yeah, and they showed, they showed a little bit of that. I totally forgot about uh, him being killed by his mistress, and yeah, then, rest in peace and then the mistress killing herself. Mm-hmm. Mm. Rest in peace. I would hate to find out about. Yeah, man, you got to be careful how you live because I don't want certain shit circulating when I die. Yeah, no. That's one of the things that scares me, though. Dying and somebody having my phone, like access to my phone. <laughs> that is scary, right? Think That's about very that. scary. <laughs> Think about everything that's Yo, in your phone. And but I've, I've often Yo, thought about my last tweet <laughs> that would be trash. And no, I'm dead. see, they still try. They white, so they want to still keep talking <laughs> serious no, to you. I'm serious, you are an idiot. <laughs> what you mean? That doesn't. No, scare I'm with you. him. That doesn't scare I'm you. I'm not honestly. Think about what's in your phone and like you're dead. You can't do nothing to stop nobody from getting your phone. I would want somebody to have my phone, though. I would want somebody to be able to get in my phone. I'm going to give somebody my... things in my, my phone that I would, want, I would want published. It's things that I would want deleted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hopefully whoever gets yeah. your phone has a... You know, they know mm. you well. Yeah, yeah. I've definitely pictured and, that, And not, not the cops. <laughs> like try, trying to delete some shit after I've been shot or something. <laughs> Or getting a tweet off like, yeah, he got it off. <laughs> <laughs> that would be I how I I just want my shit deleted. All right, this has no, gotten morbid somehow. And, yeah, and it really has. Well, no, this have you wasn't ever seen, supposed to turn morbid. Have you ever seen every cop show or even reality cop show when the cops get your phone after? A, yeah. That, a, that's, they be giving your information up to everybody. They go right to your wife like, so he was uh, dealing with three other women exactly. in California. Exactly. Uh, we're just trying to figure out the case. Fam, the case is in New York. Exactly. <laughs> What are you talking? Exactly. Stop, stop telling That's the world why I about just my want your shit to just delete. Well, that begs the question. Let me just ask y'all. It may sound silly, but I'll ask anyway. 
How many secrets do y'all have? No, it's not oh, I'm speaking s- hypothetically. Yeah, it's not about oh, secrets. Oh, no, true, of course. Yeah, no, I'm no, talking about course. the cop shows. Yeah. No, it's not about <laughs> secrets. It's just like certain shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm agree. <laughs> talking about the cop show. No, it's not even secrets. Like, with me, it's not even secrets. It's just certain shit that I just don't want everybody to know what once I'm, when I'm dead. Like, about the girl Oh, you're alive in your and none of us know anything about <laughs> you. Exactly. Well, so it's all hell in this I phone. Die. Exactly. Because you live with your girl. I don't... Why are you trying to pump that? that no. It's true, I don't man. have a girl for you. I don't worry about it. No, I don't want to uh, You think your it. promise means something to me? <laughs> I would hope so. <laughs> it doesn't. Oh, okay. Your promise. I don't Damn. have a girl for you, no. <laughs> promises, contracts, none Damn. of that shit means anything to me. You have no promises with your friends? No. Damn. Why not, though? I'm not promising you kings anything. <laughs> what are you talking no, about? I mean, no, no, he meant his promise. He's telling you I promise. Yeah, and, and you're, you're saying, saying no. Nothing. Not not you promising I'm nothing. Fam, you know how fast I'll lie on a promise? <laughs> What but the that's fuck you, are you talking about? But that's, that's you. not Maul. You know how yeah. fast I think Maul will lie on a promise? No, nah, Hell Maul's no. honorable. Hell Wait, no. Just, <laughs> Hell no. Wait, this is the topic we get sentimental on? <laughs> I wanted to go back to four a beats. promise? <laughs> yeah. You can't not take somebody's promise because you don't, like, your promise. Mm, that sounds like nothing. baggage. Hmm. <laughs> Joe, right? Yeah, you Joe, can't. You, got, do you that. gotta open up. Pause. Because your promise don't mean shit. Don't mean stop. Mine. Stop projecting it's, your insecurities it's, it's, on right. both. It's, it's fine, you guys. It's fine. <laughs> it's okay. No, I'm just saying you can't All do right. that. Y'all don't have to live. So this after way. you after you beat four times, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's <laughs> serious. No things are serious. Get things are getting serious after the four. No, times. I was funny. actually trying to no, cut no, so no, we could talk no, more. No, funny about women too. Like when women want to beat, like they put the alley right by the rim. Yeah. Like, they'd be the best passers ever. Oh, like, yeah. Yo, see, that's why you got to be careful how you respond to normal shit with women. Like, I don't fall for the, yo, WID. Whoa. It's <laughs> mad questions that need to be <laughs> answered first Wait. before I just tell you what, what I'm doing. What I'm doing. Okay. Honestly, we're and not just getting right Depending on where you're at, WID will, will scare the shit out of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It she might be watching. She might be watching you. That yeah, always yeah, yeah. you like, oh, Yo, why does shit. WYD scare us? It's terrifying. Because it is scary. No, it's yeah. terrifying. I feel like they looking at me. Because what you doing could turn into. Uh, we need to talk right now. Typically, when women ask that, they know what you're doing. Right. Yeah. Know exactly what you're doing. I just tried to argue against that with a woman. A woman said to me, "Yo, yo, next time I see you, we need to talk." And I was like, "All right," because I I learned. So I was like, "All right, what about?" Mm-hmm. So now I'll tell you when I see you. I don't like that. I've like, never I'm seen like, huh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. So now I got knots in my that. stomach so all day. Just, so I'm just going in blind, is what yeah, you're telling yeah, me. Yeah, nah, I don't like that. Nah. Yeah, yeah nah, it's, not, it's not sexy. Which, yeah, nah. come on. You want to talk about fair. You've had all this time to prepare about what we're going to talk about. And I'm just walking in like, how was your day? Yeah, right. Nah. <laughs> nah. I always fall for it because when I say what I'm doing, I'm not doing much. So it seems short. <laughs> Yo, WYD, watch the TV on the couch. <laughs> so to make it longer, I W I D them back, and that's when they get me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that's when they get me. Oh, and don't don't not. Oh, be nothing. Guilty I was just by your house riding around. Oh no 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 no. We not I moved. <laughs> yeah yeah. We not, I'm I'm not home. I just said on a couch. <laughs> no, we're. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm homeless. <laughs> yeah no, I'm homeless. I've been to your home though. <laughs> no, I'm still homeless. <laughs> That's, no, the other, that's the other thing about getting the four beats. That means you got to be awake enough to, to date Shorty Matt four times. Oh my God. Or yeah. five if she waits out. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with you, man? You a special case, man. Wait, five if she takes things slow. No, five y'all together. Five y'all together. She doesn't rush into it. Look at Save Us. No, five times y'all together. <laughs> All right. Oh, that was funny. That was. Oh, funny. that was funny. That was great. Oh, the we gotta talk. The we gotta talk is worse when when you're innocent. The we gotta talk is now always be, bad. Now I run around like thinking like I haven't done anything. Right. <laughs> what the fuck could this be? We gotta talk is always bad. Yeah, you tell, always. You tell me we gotta talk and say, oh, they found out. <laughs> nah, just be no, innocent. Being knowing. innocent is worse. At they, least when, at least you know when you're guilty. He's like, all right, now I know what she's about to tell me. Right. You'd be so relieved when you see how far off track she was. <laughs> oh, it's just that. Thank God. 
<laughs> oh, that's not me and her are really just friends. <laughs> I escape again. <laughs> I escape again. <laughs> yeah, that's always the best. That's really my home oh, girl. I can keep the same cheating pattern. <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he, nah, he came out. He came out shooting today. Yeah, this is an entertainment <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Joe's dying. <laughs> it's maniacal laughter. <laughs> yo, 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 you're sure you're sure to be so far off track. You start liking the other chick more. Like, all right, she's still holding down. <laughs> Oh, she wasn't approached. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you go to her snap. She just sit chill. Look how just eating. Yeah, yeah <laughs> enjoying a little meal. Ain't nothing there. You ain't, ain't nothing there. I mean, ain't you had to check there. check the temperature. Text her. Yo, how's your day been? <laughs> Who you been talking to? <laughs> Y'all are sick. Yo, when the temp check still work. Yeah. <laughs> All right, no, nah, we out. <laughs> no, 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 no. Enough of this. Enough of this. Look at when there's no news. <laughs> word. Enough of this. Yeah. No, nah, yeah. it's, it's news, but I, I, I'm clear the rest of the country don't want to talk about the real shit. But don't worry. I keep writing it down. Quick question. We ain't even got to stay here, Rory. Whatever topic you got, we getting right to it. Oh, Quick question. Right. Nobody cares that Michael Avenatti. <laughs> Who? Michael Avenatti. Who's this? That's the lawyer for Stormy Daniels, the porn star uh, escort girl yeah, that okay. has a strong case against Trump. Sure. Nobody oh, yeah, yeah. cares that they have him in the same exact cell as Jeffrey Epstein. I didn't know that. <laughs> I did not know I didn't that. Know Nobody that, cares. I, they don't I even... haven't seen anyone make a big deal of this. Uh, of course not. Cell. Huh? No. Keep continue to read. Continue to read. <laughs> it's him too. El Chapo too. Well, at least they he, all been in the they, same cell. Then why didn't neither of them escape? See, and even <laughs> hey, right and Savon, even that's some did. bullshit. That the big oh, no, headline is that MCC though, right? The big headline says he El Chapo. Why does the big headline say El well, Chapo? They trying to bury the Epstein shit. Hey, right. I checked this story five times just because the big headline kept saying El Chapo. The prison. Well, yeah, not Nobody cares Epstein. that the president has like a killing cell <laughs> 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 where all of his enemies he yeah. just handles. It's definitely not the first. Hey, if the camera was just turned into the wall when the last dude uh, committed suicide. Well, Joe, right. the, the guard was asleep, too. <laughs> it was late. <laughs> it was late. <laughs> yeah, I know. All right. I know. It's a hard See, day. Right, forget yeah. it. Don't worry about it. Don't no. worry about it. <laughs> Don't take me to that cell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no <laughs> word. Take me to the regular Yeah, nah, I'm going to put me <laughs> yeah. in gin pop. Yeah, I'm about to say it. <laughs> put me right there. Yeah. Why do these crimes even correlate? Nah, forget it. <laughs> word. <laughs> He got a whole death cell. <laughs> and nobody, we just sitting here talking about $200 dates. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, we what ain't do you got? Nothing what do you got? That, shit. Huh? that ain't our They're business. Mind it own. That's yeah, it. That ain't good. Got nothing to do with me. Oh, yeah. They yeah. put that right at the bottom. <laughs> That's a whole oh, by the seven way. page article. Then <laughs> oh, at the, the bottom, prison, the prison the also cell. housed former inmate same prison, and financier Jeffrey Epstein, who committed suicide in his cell last year while waiting trial on sexual abuse charges. They put that in the fine print after a seven page article. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared to come up here and really kick it because we not so far. We not. It's not so far fetched now to hear the government saying, "Hey, did you hear that latest podcast?" <laughs> yeah, someone up there's listening. Did you Trump, like, Trump did, probably tunes in? Did you like what was being said? Did you like what was being <laughs> said? <laughs> you want to make them go through something? <laughs> <laughs> you want to make something happen? <laughs> Fam, all right, man. Yeah. Forget it. Don't worry. About it. Where we at, man? <laughs> no, now, now I'm scared. <laughs> Can't worry. <laughs> Now I'm really scared. No, we 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 cool. Let's get, we all right, get into the music. We safe, man. No, I don't even want to get the music yet. All right, what you got for me? Uh, I was thinking, man, and it's about fucking time it happened. Let me get a quick applause, man. Oh, hold on, I got you right now. Let me close. It was something, Joe. What I was think that question you brought up at the end of the show last time. You said you wanted to ask us next week. Oh, I got, uh, it. I got it still. Okay, because okay. I was gonna say it's finally over for the muscle dudes. A word. And I don't think anyone's realized it yet. <laughs> I'm going to turn this applause up. All you guys that have spent the last 12 years of your life chewing on powder that you got at GNC. Oh, man. The rim is like the rim is like ocean right now. <laughs> <laughs> You've been doing your, your motivational workout videos. If you can do a crunch, you can achieve it. Mm -hmm. Don't body shame me when I look like a fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger clone. Mm-hmm. 
You was injecting steroids in your ass. I know what time it was. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're not popping anymore. These chicks do not care. The nasty body guys are back in. Yeah, <laughs> the dad bod. And the money dudes never left. Like The money dudes never leaving. Yeah, he's safe. The, He'll over, be there. the overseas yeah. athletes have infiltrated. Soccer players. <laughs> infiltrated. <laughs> <laughs> no, they've been infiltrated. That's all I really had there, man. I think it's kind of over for... Uh, what makes you say that? I have not seen... I remember growing it up that the, the, them, the muscle dudes was like the guys. And I'm not even talking about the athletes, because the athletes get money. Mm -hmm. They was just always the... Oh, my God, look how strong he is, the six-pack, all that shit. Like, look how which, strong he is. Some of the athletes which don't was even fine. be muscly and like that. And I wasn't that. even hating on that. I was never hating on it, but I've just noticed now that the chicks are no longer into the muscle dudes. I've seen the nasty body guys be the popping ones now. Yeah, no, the nasty body dudes is out here now. <laughs> yeah, no, the scammers I'm, I'm, don't I'm work here, out. I'm here to tell you. Scammers don't work out. I sit on FaceTime looking straight like a toilet. <laughs> 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 I can't give a fuck. So, yeah. so, all right, how your day was? <laughs> I haven't. I have not. You were squatting nothing. Yeah, I, not, I, I don't <laughs> drink rest of your yeah. belly. Like. I remember the day I used to try to give him a quick 30 push up yeah, before nah, a shit. Nah, it's quiet. Yeah, it. Nah, it's over it's for that. I have not seen a, a gold chain rest on a sculpted chest <laughs> in about five years. It's over for that, man. Yeah, nah. The workout dudes just went and got with the workout chicks, and now the field is back clean again. Yeah, you let they all that, together. They all be fit together. Yeah, yeah let that and, uh, they, yeah. they're doing yoga now together. Yeah, they're, which is fine. He's, he's perching her up on his feet with the ocean background, and they're holding hands. It like, looks great. It's cool. No, it looks that's great. awesome. It I just look, I don't have the structure for it. Now. Cool. I'm over. I don't have the strength <laughs> for it. <laughs> nah, not at all. And I'm past the age where I'm picking you up during sex, so it's cool. Yeah, yeah it's kind of over. It's over. It's a lot. Oh wait, that was always overrated anyway. Huh? That was always overrated anyway, though. It's not the most enjoyable. Uh, it was overrated. Yeah, yeah for the it dude. Just, just you just good. did it to show her you can one time. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> and you got you to put it Just to know it's in my too. arsenal. Right. There's more efficient ways to get things done. Yeah. Did, did you do it on the fourth beat? And then she enjoying it, but you could tell she, you could tell she ain't never really did it. You got to have a certain rhythm too, ma. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just the pickup ain't. Yeah. yeah it, it's just awkward to, at that don't point. Don't just, oh, ah, me to death. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no, no, bitch. <laughs> Queen, not bitch. There's not a bitch. rhythm, not bitch. There's a rhythm. Yeah, yeah not bitch. No. There's definitely a rhythm. Yeah, I'm done with that. And I don't even look like that dude no more. Like I don't think chicks look at me and like, oh, oh he's gonna scoop me up. Ooh, he, <laughs> <laughs> he does his deadlifts. <laughs> no, he looks yeah, like he could pay my phone bill. Yeah, <laughs> that's all they care about. That's awesome. Now I'll take that joke. Now y'all tell me what y'all think women think about you when they see you. It's the same. Ooh, flipped it on you. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, take ma that. Ma uh. Married and fat. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> married and fat <laughs> Tall that's and married That's cool <laughs> Oh okay It's Parks I forgot mm, yeah. Yeah, He could get that yeah. off Yeah yep. Oh well hold on with, Hold on With hold me on, they probably on. just look like Look like I'm ready to be a great co-parent out here <laughs> Nah we can't <laughs> If that's what they doing If that's what they doing <laughs> Who's doing this Who's looking at you as a great co-parenter Like nah That's <laughs> that's not your title in the streets oh, right shit. now what do you think my nah, title is? I hear great co-parenter. What do you think that's my title not, in the streets nah, is? Nah, great co-parenter, no. Great, but do you think great I financer. Nah they, nah, they know I'm a great co-parenter. Uh, co but anyway, what do, you think my, what do you think I look like out here? I don't think I look bad. Oh, I, don't, I didn't say you look bad. But I'm just saying nobody calling you You ain't great. saying I look good. But ain't nobody saying you're a great co-parenter is all I'm saying. All right, well, Who's referring to you like that? And tell them to stop. <laughs> Whoever's calling you a great co-parenter should stop. They don't know that. They don't what do you think they say about you when they see you? Me? Yeah. Damn, I ain't see him in a, in a long time. Damn, look at those nails. See, look, even that look one. That. <laughs> even that one. Everything, That's what they do everything tell me. Everything say is really girlfriend appropriate. Y'all don't pee. Yeah, it is. Y'all don't pee. That's what they tell me. When I went to the stars that night, that was the first thing they said. Like, damn, ain't seen Making you. Making it hot. I was never at stars. <laughs> never. <laughs> shot a video. <laughs> it's a hot camera. Video. Oh. <laughs> they're they're yeah, vocally not. every day yeah. on your story. Like, yo, and Starlets. Yeah, what are you talking about? It's not a promo. <laughs> Look at me. I'm back to lying again. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, it's just a bad like, you got, you yeah, got footage. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That oh, was a joke. You do have a girlfriend. That was a joke. Wait, why you say that? Because you're lying about starlets. No, no. Like no, you practice. I'm joking. That's a joke. He's like on to something. You're taking practice lies. That was for the content. <laughs> practice lies. <laughs> you're taking lies. practice lies. Like, I like the it. niggas start practicing lies. You gotta see lies. if you still got the lie yeah, game. But it's the reason why, though. That's all. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Shut up, boy. It's for entertainment purposes. <laughs> yeah, I know. But when I say motivational purposes, you kill me. So yeah, right, go ahead. Man. Get your shit off. <laughs> Anywho's, you yeah. guys. <laughs> well, we got the muscle guys out. 
Parks, I mean, you're 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 engaged, so you're fine. Tall dudes is next. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> parts, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Tall dudes is next, man. And first of all, that whole uh, six foot chick Twitter shit was a lie that whole time in 2011. I just want to make that clear. Oh yeah, yeah, I was single in 2011. We knew that. We cracked that back then. <laughs> yeah, we knew that that was a lie. <laughs> yeah, no, no. It was funny to watch over the weekend. I don't know if y'all saw it, <laughs> dude. It was dudes trying to drag, drag women through the mud. For watching the Aaron Hernandez doc and thinking he was cute, <laughs> I did see that. I seen a couple of chicks posting him one. I was a lot of chicks saying he was fine. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Oh, nothing. No, nothing. Nothing at all. I just thought it was funny. I'm like, damn. Like, this is when y'all want to post them. Okay. Nah, but some of the dudes was making good points, even though I don't side with them. What they were saying? <laughs> or just fuck the dead dude. <laughs> <laughs> Word like. And rest in peace, definitely. I don't, don't please. I don't want. Don't take this as me being insensitive. But that's what they were saying. And when you take it there, like, ah, oh, right, you're right. But I was more laughing. That women had their fun, man. You know, women are toxic, <laughs> but they don't know that they're toxic. That's why you have no. To put we the gotta start telling. Yeah, they they, they be toxic, yeah, yeah. telling us we're toxic. Right. Exactly. Like how you think you recognize it, Queen? Oh wait, mm. I saw. Who cool. taught mm. you the game? Mm. <laughs> yeah, you've been hip to the toxic flow. <laughs> So you invented after, it. I've yeah. been to your side of the family. Word. After the fourth beat, when you started talking like me. <laughs> Word, be yourself. And why are you afraid to? I saw a tweet that mm. I saved that I wanted to talk about. Well, in the meantime, what was more funny than me than the chicks talking about how they found Aaron Hernandez uh, attractive was everyone getting hip to Netflix in their game about Aaron Hernandez. He killed himself because he was gay. <laughs> like, fam. That was wild. Stop trying to brush th- like that was the reason. There was bad reasons about that all this wasn't shit. the one. Yeah, I think the old, I think they know what the reason was. He Look at his brain. <laughs> well, that, that up, wasn't upbringing. That wasn't a I was gay brain. Yeah. That was a I have CTE brain. <laughs> I have a different stance on that. I think that I I appreciated Netflix uh, getting broad. No, I I did. I don't not think that was and I don't, a and thing I don't that think he they, was suppressing. And I don't think that's what and, they were trying to say. No, because, all right, so when you have... But to not be sensitive to the closeted gay man's plight. I, I get that portion, uh, for sure. But when you dedicate all three episodes, for the most part, to uh, adding in an O-lineman that just happened to be on the same team and had no purpose to the Aaron Hernandez story, and just doing, yeah, let's do 10 minutes on CTE, but let's do three episodes on uh, closeted NFL players. Gay it's just I'm, he, I'm cool he was, man he was gay in the closet on the same team I thought it was relevant mm. it was some relevancy there. some relevance. No. <laughs> it was that's not relevant okay it's, it's, re- it's, it's relevant but when it's the narrative spoke, it's, it's the spoke, narrative that they brought on that Netflix doc that, was, that was exists. specific to closeted gays and that was part of his life but to just disregard CTE the way they did I agree. They, they put it in there at the end and not to mention the, the <laughs> kind uh, fact that his father used to beat his ass and his mother's ass and all types of shit. That was also pretty brief in the yeah. comparison, in the proportions. To I'm just saying, they, they added a lot on the closeted gay thing, which I think is very important, but completely ignored some larger things that were happening in his life. I, I have a few notes. Besides on, just being masculine and They didn't speak and to gay. his mom enough for me. I have a few notes on this. I'm with you. Yeah. There we go. That's one of, that's I'm with you. One of the notes. I have a few notes on this. I don't know if I expressed last week when we uh, delved into this topic. Uh, one... The way you feel about the mom, I feel about the brother. If if you mm. told me the dad was so corrupt, corrupt. If you told me the brother was the one to tell me in his book that Aaron was uh, sexually abused by the the babysitter when they were playing hide and go seek, the brother is the one that told me of all this childhood trauma, but I never got to hear about how he made it out okay. Mm. Mm. Because that, that type of trauma don't normally just happen to one person. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. true. And that's prevalent. Especially when they're the same that's sex. That's prevalent even in the R. Kelly doc. Like that's pre- when, when prevalent the, within most families when, the bro- when you have a sibling. Yeah, yeah when, the, when the brothers show up on the R. Kelly doc, like, it's chilling. Yeah. It's it's riveting. When they start talking about R, you could hear the trauma in, in him mm-hmm. on that. So I, I would have loved to hear more about that. That's one. Two now, though. Back to the closeted uh, gay man, or the not so closeted gay man. That quarterback man. Yeah, not closeted now. Closeted at the time. That that quarterback. Did you see the tweets where they were talking about uh, he wasn't the quarterback? 
<laughs> yeah, I saw, I saw like a lot of those. box scores <laughs> and on, shit. Man. That quarterback, that he liked Aaron. Well, they had a relationship. No, no, but still, like he adores him. Like even in death, like like Aaron beat four he times. Was, he was real. <laughs> yo, he was real mad at Jailhouse Bay. Jailhouse Bay, you gotta chill. <laughs> what? Jailhouse Bay looked a little tougher nah, than him. He was that, intimidated. When that story, <laughs> well, when that story broke and then they panned back to him and his dad. <laughs> first of all, the dad, Wait. the dad still hates you. <laughs> no, first of all, dad still. Say, yeah, I'd be lying if I said fuck, I didn't hate him. Fuck yeah. the old line guy. Let's talk about the relevance of his father being there. Period. His dad was there to say, "Yo, I hate this kid." <laughs> well, no, his dad did say when he was younger, he was like, he was very homophobic. He said it. He was, yeah, he but he still sounded homophobic. A little yeah. bit, yeah. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't need that guy to tell me that there's homophobic people in the world. <laughs> yeah. Yo, they got. I didn't. I didn't need him to be in every scene. There has to be a statute of limitations on like, love, and hate. That's fair. There has to be. Ex- explain more. Fam, Aaron. Di- Aaron transitioned, killed himself. Whatever you want to, however you want to. Mm. Uh, he's passed away. He's not. He's no longer with us. You don't. This dude. This dude don't get to just now be gay bay for the for hope for your life. Like no, I moved I moved on from you. <laughs> Why yes. he still get to see? And that's what I would hate. That's back to Maul's point about people going on my phone after I'm dead. Because he shouldn't get to still nah nah. I'm out. <laughs> I don't know how Aaron felt about you anymore. <laughs> like why yeah. do you still get to tell my story now I ain't seen you in 30 years let's not even put a gay thing to it let's put any high school relationship you're not allowed to talk in my doc yeah no nah. yeah. <laughs> yeah sorry yeah. sorry buddy yeah no nah, I feel you yeah no nah, you can't do that um alright that's all I had on uh, Aaron we, I did want to talk about something else no I wanted to talk about when women want the best for you <laughs> <laughs> And how do Which is just the arrogance in women on that. Yeah, how do they know what's best for you? Like how? <laughs> no, I'm with you. I'm, I'm trying to I'm think t- of ways. T- 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 <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think Especially how maybe they could just talk. Like you just come to me with. <laughs> Yo, you are such. I a just want what's best for you. Chauvinistic pig. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. How do you know what's best for me? Because, how does a woman know what's best for you? Because no, she knows what's she, best she for knows, her. She knows how she can add to your life and compliment you. Are you talking about a uh, uh, future? Or a past? No, that's fuchsia. Oh, oh, my bad, my bad. You're right. You're right. You're right. Don't. I know it sounds similar. <laughs> that's not. That's fuchsia. It's, it's the same thing. Right after this, I'm gonna ask y'all. Actually, fuck that. I'm gonna ask y'all right now because uh, I heard this circulating around, and I think I already know where y'all stand. But I'm gonna ask you anyway, and we can move forward. We don't have to spend time on this. Mm-hmm. Do you think that future looks like he could be using Lori Harvey to get hot? No. No, future's hot. He's hot now. But he's hot whenever he puts music out. He's everybody's gonna play it, everybody's gonna listen to it. Are, are you gonna... suggesting in the I'm not, the, I'm, not the... I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not just providing compelling content. Gotcha. I am not. I am but not But that is a thing though. Okay. Men do well, I'm, I'm, I'm saying I'm not. Use, in, like, in the, the relationship get... climate where artists are in relationships and it's heightening their careers. They could be using each other. Oh, she's definitely using him. We know that. This, <laughs> this is no doubt in in in, in Use him for a birthday trip. I mean, I just saw somebody floating a theory that that it, this this did not come from the brain of Joe. I saw someone floating a theory that uh, the Drake feature and Lori Harvey has has future on top of the world. So we we're forgetting about <laughs> a few things. I mean, people are gonna always try to paint something, but no, future. Yeah, anytime I'm, I'm future not puts painting out music, this that way. Anytime future puts out a record, it's gonna get everybody's attention. He's just one of those artists. That girl is fine enough for you to do things. <laughs> <laughs> fine Clearly, for what <laughs> for you to do things like what? I'm just saying vacation. That, yeah, <laughs> with with her other beautiful friends. <laughs> Would you take her to Jamaica uh, without meeting her first? Yo, Maul just came from Jamaica. <laughs> That's the funny thing. Who you was at a Summer Walker concert with? Just alone, Queens. like a stalker? I was in Jamaica, Queens. You was at the Summer Walker concert alone, like a stalker? I said. I had a few friends there. With mm. dicks? Yeah. A few of them have dicks. All right. How many didn't, though? <laughs> a few of them didn't have dicks. Okay. What was the, the friends, ratio? Though, uh, probably even. 
Four mm. and four. Even when you touch down. Sounds like a double date. You know how hard no. it is to get an even ratio? It's tough. It's very tough. No, it's how many not. guys and girls you at? If I, when I tell Justice I need seven passes, that's all it is. Well, that's, uh, that's, that's, not even, that's not even. That's more flex than seven, and even. then myself was eight. No? Because mm. you already, mm. like... Quadruple date. Mm. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. No, yeah, that's how you know more hot in the streets. He called up for seven plus. Right. <laughs> for seven. For, Yo, I need seven that's of them crazy. things. Yeah. It's hard to get a four and four even ratio, more. You, no, you that not. dude. No, you that dude still. No, it's not. Look. You that dude still. No, that's no, hard to do. It was just them in no, the future. No, no, <laughs> future's really rich, so I understand how that <laughs> happened. Hard. In Jamaica, that might be hard to do. Yeah. Yeah, you can purchase an even amount of tickets. We got it. It's tough to meet up at a Summer Walker show with Even. Parks and Rory, will y'all fiancés let y'all go to Brazil and fuck? No, Joe. (laughs) (laughs) Look how he. No. No. (laughs) See, chicks got to be progressive. (laughs) Speaking of progressive, I came across. That's not progressive. (laughs) How you going to go to Brazil and not fuck? Yeah, you got to fuck in Brazil. <laughs> I actually, didn't, I think that's you one don't of, go to Brazil and just be in Brazil. That would be weird to I just go to Brazil. Ticket, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> no, I think it's on the Come ticket on, when y'all turn yeah, no, All right, just tell them we're going to pod. <laughs> we do have a market out there. <laughs> She's right there. <laughs> <laughs> tell her get out. <laughs> 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 the, the, the ring didn't buy you no, no, no leeway? No, <laughs> Not no, for the Brazil no. fuck? Yeah, yeah, no, okay, so. no, the ring buys you. That's why, Quite Karan, the that's why Karan is still the illest dude living, man. Because Karan had that hall pass, remember? Mm. Karan had that hall pass, man. Karan, our good friend Karan. Is this public information to give out to the world? Because his, his lovely wife listens to this podcast. Siobhan knows she gave up the hall pass. I just say her name, too. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's his wife. I know. I love Siobhan, too. All right. Uh, that's a fake name. <laughs> I escaped again. <laughs> I escaped again. I escaped is hilarious. Yo. Are you laughing at a nigga what you escaped? That, that well, the, he definitely yeah. didn't escape by the That's the best when you right, escape. Hall passes. Yeah, hall pass. Yeah, I like Gar- hall pass. Garon got a hall pass. Wait, That's wait, Ill. wait. You that is bro- Ill. Wait, you brokies got engaged without a hall pass? Y'all went ring shopping, pre- presented it? Because we're broke. Kissed and didn't get a hall pass. Kiss. Z's. <laughs> but do you think that every couple should nah, have a hall pass? Nah, that's Z's. Every, you, every, you had a hall pass? I was going to ask, fam. You've done it twice. Yeah. Well, one successful, so. With Joe, the, Joe just get engaged with a hall pass. Use the hall pass and, nah, and didn't break up. Yeah. They both left because I had the hall pass. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't give me the hall pass. You just had nah, but I had it though. <laughs> That's not fair. Did you give yourself the hall pass? <laughs> ah, come on, man. I, they they just say nah, the hall pass. Not fair. When you met me, I had a hall. <laughs> yeah, I had passes. <laughs> Yo, that is some funny shit. Yo, they left me because I already had a hall pass. That you're, is hilarious. Giving you're, yourself a hall pass is hilarious. You're bad. Nah, if I, if I had a hall when we met, right? Mm, and God. you know I like hall. You ain't got to explain You know to me. I like the cough drop hall. Yeah, yeah, that's a fact. Clearly, I have a thing. Yeah. And Maul gets seven passes anywhere he goes. True. Yeah. Come I can on get one from Maul. Come, Come on. on, man. You no, know I got a hall pass. <laughs> or five. Chicks only be mad when you give yourself the all pass for like two months. <laughs> that's not a all pass. <laughs> that's, that's the only thing they get mad at? <laughs> it's not a all pass, Joe. They come right back. Just a mall like, pass. Like, yo, do you at least understand what I was saying? Yeah, man, come here. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I got it. I learned my yeah, lesson. Yeah, yeah. Right? Get over I here. ain't got no more hall passes. That's it. <laughs> I, ripped, I ripped them all up. Yeah. Well, all I, the copies. I, I found a tweet from a young lady that was... This is a music podcast. It should No, this should be viral, though. You guys. What's here? This tweet should have went viral, and of course it didn't, but she says, I find it very abusive to put pressure on men to provide us with a life we cannot provide for ourselves as women. As much as women are not rehabilitation centers for badly raised men, men are not poverty eradication plans for lazy women. You thought that was going to go viral? <laughs> I tried. I tried my best to make it go viral. I you pushed. Every time. I, I pushed. I pushed. You, you had the group chat like, yeah, yo, yeah, y'all retweet this? I pushed. It's I funny. Pushed. I, I, I saw something written on Twitter that I, that I saved to come in here and read tomorrow, but... I did some shit with my phone, and now all the shit that I'd saved is gone. There's nothing there. But it was something about, (laughs) and it was pretty well thought out, but they were saying how uh, heterosexual culture is homoerotic. Huh? Hmm? 
What do you mean? And their point was, I, boy, I wish I still had it because I'll never be able to word it the way I read it. Do your best. But their point was that the things that heterosexual men are taught and conditioned to think toward women are not really that sentiment. That sentiment, whatever it is that they expressed, uh, and that's why I wish I had it, because that's where it got detailed. The difference in what we say, what we think of the expression, and what they think of the expression. They were saying, we treat women like this, thinking we are doing this. But the real, the real love men show to other men that they admire and respect and so forth and so on. And that was... Your point again. So, so, I jacked, so we're I really, all gay. Again, I, again, I, again. I really fucked that uh, up yeah. because it was written. It was well worded. I do not have it. Uh, I'm sure that one of our fans will find so, it. Oh, was she uh, was she suggesting maybe a, in a one sentence would be men may show their male friends and crew more loyalty than they would show their female significant other. But it was more than loyalty. It was more. I'm res- just trying to throw more something re- out there to make re- some more, sense of it. More loyalty, more respect. Uh, okay. More, but none of that more, is sexual. More love. Well, I think more admiration. I think, and, and that's the thing. The point was that we're conditioned to almost just be sexual with women and yeah. have a different version of. Um, I think. The, to, I think to some meaning, degree. And the yeah. true meaning of they were just saying how the true meaning of love men give to other men without realizing that that's what they're doing, and probably with less merit than what women would actually give us than our male friends would give us. I'm not saying sexually. I'm saying from that loyalty capacity and actually loving you. Oh, yeah, loyalty was in there, too. <laughs> loyalty was in there. All of the things that we attribute to uh, love and caring for a woman. They were just a woman. We were but not vagina. No. No. Oh. No. No, no, it's not no, homosexual. I, no, that's not I, sexual I, I, at all. I don't know. What, it, it was homo, homoerotic. Oh, uh, homoerotic. Yes. Well, that's in, that's incorrect. She is correct that I think if you were to generalize, men probably give, if you listed all the things that love could be, no, probably no. give more of that to their male friends. I don't want you all to than, reply because I ain't really share it accurately and I don't want us to be the real. <laughs> <laughs> so Fair. we can but leave yeah, it. I, okay. I, outside of the sexualization and the word homoerotic and all that thing, I think her point would be men if you were li- to list everything that has to do with love, probably give that to their male friends and are conditioned to give that to their male friends before they are to their female significant other. Okay. That's the, I would need to read more. Yeah. Just ge- general for the context. generalization. Listen, man, prayers for Delonte West. Let's, Absolutely. Uh, let's, let's, Absolutely. Let's, let's start there. Over um, a few days ago, there was some video released of Delonte West uh, involved in a street fight. I'm not certain where it was. Uh, but he wasn't getting the better end of it. He was on the ground, and then somehow that led to him talking to who I assume to be police. Yeah, was I believe, it, believe it was police. He was handcuffed on the sidewalk. I imagine someone intervened. Yeah, this looks really, really, really bad. This was a horrible video to see. Yeah. At first, I just saw Delonte West handcuffed talking to someone, and then I bumped, ran into the video of him actually getting beat in the street. Um, Delonte West is someone that, it's been rumored for a while has struggled with some mental mental health issue ith- mental health issues uh, and i just want to i just want to pray for him uh hope that he gets some help uh and hope that he experiences some 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 healing cuz yeah, this was yeah. really disturbing to see for sure <laughs> yeah for sure yeah i think uh a lot of his teammates and the former players in the league that they that spoke know up yeah, but they yeah, so some, Jameer Nelson did. They need to, uh, they need to, they need to go to uh, Dallas and find him. Is that where he is, Dallas? Yeah, he's living on the street. Last I heard, is that still the case? Do mm-hmm. we know? Yeah, like they need to find him. though. they need to get him some help. Um, because this is this is bad. Yeah, it's sad. Yeah, but you know, you know how these things go. We'll look up tomorrow, and it'll be somebody shot him. Somebody, you know, did something really bad to him. So yeah, yeah. he needs help. Yeah, let's put him in a in a halfway house or something out there. Something. Yeah. No, he needs. Yeah, mental, it was he needs, he needs a mental health facility for sure. Yeah, probably so. Yeah. Maybe which, some which, sort of rehab. I'm not sure if he's on like any like you said. Chemical I, I dependency. Feel like issues. this has been kind of news as of the last few years. Not to this degree, but he's certainly not been okay for a couple of years. Yeah. Yeah. 
But and the people in they Dallas, they they know where he is all the time. Mm-hmm. It's like, yo, we drive past him, you know, usually in the same spot. That's crazy. So it's not like he can't be found. It's not like he can't be located. People know where he is. I want to send some prayers out to Ch- Chandler Parsons as well. Yeah. Uh, who was involved in a in a really bad car accident for, mm-hmm. from a drunk driver. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. And is now facing uh, career career ending injuries. Yeah. Wow. I didn't see that one. Yeah, that was sad. That was sad news. That but was, I'm, I'm glad it wasn't, you know, a fatal, a fatal accident. His yeah, career may God. be over, but you know, thank God, it's bigger than basketball, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I have a Chandler Parsons joke that it would be ill time to say right now. Yeah, yeah keep no. that. I am yeah. next week. I am real glad that he no real glad that he's that he's all right. And it's fucked up. Anytime you read, um, it was and it was a basketball joke. Certainly not about cars but not it's not happening yeah. um anytime you read uh about a life-threatening car accident or something that could potentially be critical and then you see dui there it always disturbs me mm-hmm. yeah yeah that's bad yeah don't drive drunk or high yeah with, with uber now i don't think there's really an excuse for real Pay the seven dollars or whatever it is to get home, or twenty or fifty or whatever it is doesn't matter. Whatever, whatever it take, if not for your own sake, for other people's sake. Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah, we gotta have more regard for life. Yeah, cars are scary enough as it is. They're death machines. Yeah, yeah. they're death machines that, that, that are part of our everyday daily right life. I think we th- we we take for granted just how many things we encounter on a day to day basis that can just cause death. Yeah. yeah, literally everything around you. For one hundred percent. Yeah, people like saying life is short. Life is fragile. It's not really short. It's or, fragile. Yeah. And and just being on that highway, you're not just putting your self at risk. Every last person around you and their decision making. Let's yeah. just all be coherent. Yeah. I, I am super paranoid still to this day about. Uh, I've seen too many vids about the uh, the big fuel trucks on the highway. Mm. Mm. Nope. Yeah, they're terrible. Especially in Jersey. And tractor trailers. Both. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, Jersey sees a lot of trucks. A lot of traffic. fuel trucks in Jersey, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, shit. I, I don't know the facts, but damn near all the fuel comes to New Jersey first. Yeah, the turnpike. Fam, I get out of Dodge when I'm next to that thing. Oh, hell yeah. And I've seen Final Destination. I'm not playing. No. I'm not, I'm not playing. No, ew. I've you been know. in two-way situations where them shits is swerving because the wind catches them or something. That shit is terrifying. I'm paranoid about uh, lightweight lightweight cars. Also, that's another thing for me. I'm just all right. I saw Larry David whipping one of them shits. I was like, I, I get it. None, he stays in the nah, Prius. Not, not, not until the wind blow. Not until the wind blow, or you've taken a turn differently. I've never driven one, and, so the, I don't and, know. The, and the weight of your car. You can feel it. Yeah, you can feel that you're in a car that I've never right, been in one. So let me chill. Right. Yeah, my homeboy had a Fiat. Never gotten that shit. <laughs> I don't think the Fiat is what, the lightweight car. No, it is. Yeah, you it's ever seen a Fiat? I've, yeah, yeah, no, I've driven in a Fiat. I, I could kick a Fiat across no, the street. No, you're talking about like the mini joints, right? <laughs> Let's just have a funeral for the Fiat bag. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? The, the, we're, not, we're not getting a Fiat bag. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you think it was, it, was, it was there for us? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe it was. Um, let's see what else is going on. I didn't, I didn't tell more. I didn't tell more. Maybe, uh, just to... You, Get us where we're going. But I bet to circle back to our weekend and party conversation, maybe I was a little too hard on uh, his loyal song. Maybe I was. It's not that bad. It's a good record. I'm still not jamming to it. I'm, I'm stick, sticking on my guns. I'm man. not jamming to it. but It's a good record. It's not as bad as I made it out to be. Yeah, it's not. It's a good um, well, it's one of those, it has that same bop that is the popular bop. That's, my, that's my issue with it. Like, that song can't be bad, but it's just like, I don't need this from you as your single. Yo, did y'all understand what I was You've saying done about this better. M's album, though? When I was like, because I pe- see people was like, they didn't understand what too wordy meant. Yeah, I, did. I understand what you meant. Like, Definitely. I don't want to hear not to understand. I don't want to hear M rap like Twister. Like, all the time. Yeah, I feel time. you. I do think it's... Like, a, he got like nine songs on this album where he's rapping like that. I do think it's one of his better projects in a, in a while, though. So Overall. Yeah. But I'm just saying sure. certain certain songs, it's like... That young MA record, I get it, one hundred percent. You didn't need to, you didn't need to bring that f- twist of flow to that record. Was all I'm saying. Yeah. The Juice World record, you didn't need to bring that flow to that record. Like, that's what that's all I was saying. Like, it was just too many. 
Like the way she got off right. was perfect on that beat. Right. You know what I mean? Not saying he should have rapped with her cadence and all of that, but it's like. No, I understand 100% what you mean. That's all I was saying. Yeah. Like, yeah. People thought I was just, they didn't understand what two word he meant, but okay. I know we talked about the Shake album uh, on Saturday's pod, but I actually like listened to it for real over the weekend. Yeah, it's good. That shit is really good. Yeah. I need to hear that in LA. That's definitely LA. That's music. what it is. Yeah. That's what it is. It's You got to be or in Miami, a certain... maybe. I, that album is really good. Yeah. Hey, man. I, enjoy, I enjoyed it in New Jersey, but I really need to hear that elsewhere. <laughs> Speaking of Miami, really quickly, oh, y'all going to spend a lot of money next month on Super Bowl and Carnival. <laughs> No, nah, I don't think people doubling back for both. It's yeah, I don't think those crowd. two markets are that Some different. Some people uh, will be. A few. You are crazy, Maul. It's a different crowd. Yeah. The I'm Bowl going crowd with Maul. And the, and the of Congress course, there'll be a few that do it, but that's not really a crowd that yeah. coexists the way you think it would coexist. No. I think 35% of women that will be present in Miami for Super Bowl are going home and packing for Trinidad. Like yes, that's, that's high. That's a high number. Thirty-five percent. Yeah, it's high. Fam, they not paying for Super Bowl. <laughs> What's in Miami? And they not paying for Carnival. <laughs> Women don't pay for anything anymore. <laughs> Good point. Valid point. Yeah. See, see how fast that fixes that. See, so we could definitely zip line in Jamaica. Come on, get dressed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll, I'll I'll be missing that one. Um. All right. What else is important here? Pop smoke and cast. Round of applause. Round of applause. Round of applause. Round of applause. It was just last week we came in here and said that we hope somebody intervened. I don't know what happened. I don't know if someone did, mm-hmm. but they had dinner. Yeah, it's good. They definitely had dinner. Uh, Pop Smoke was released from wherever he was being held. Uh, it's alleged that his mom uh, put up her house for him to for him to get home. I always love when that happens. I love when black people have the ability to put up some shit they own for their family. I love that. Uh, so apparently what they're saying is Pop Smoke came home and they immediately had dinner. Pop Smoke and Cass. Mm-hmm. Not, uh, let me not fail to mention Cass's tweet when Pop Smoke was locked up saying, I don't wish jail and nobody bring that man home. Mm-hmm. We want to applaud. I want to applaud. Hit the round of applause again, God damn it. Gotta Big of Cash him. Big of him. Gotta respect that. If you can't respect that, your whole perspective is whack. <laughs> Why you guys Very have true. to do J lines in like mad good English? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do all the lines in like good, with good diction now. It's horrible. It's horrible. Um, what do you guys think about this? React. Give me something. I like it. I think it's great. I, yeah. I was hoping that it happened. I was hoping that, you know, like I said, they got a real good thing going on right now. Pop Smoke ain't the smallest of dudes, huh? That's what this face off told me, too. <laughs> Fair, because Cass is not small. Because Cass ain't Cass ain't small. No. no, and Pop Smoke, he's not he's not small there either. <laughs> yeah, I was. Either I was way, happy I'm, I'm that. happy that they're oh, together look, and everything oh, is look good. Look at their blood, homie, smiling. <laughs> well, one some are blood, some are crew. Well, look at the gang members smiling. I love to see that. <laughs> always, of course. That, that means there's peace. Yeah, mm-hmm. peace is always good. <clears throat> yeah, no, I'm with this, especially in Brooklyn. Yeah, I was happy to see that. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Congra- really congratulations to, to both to to both of these dudes. Let's keep it on fights for a minute. Did anybody bother with the McGregor fight? Uh, I, you only I, needed I to see did. the highlight. I did. <laughs> the By highlight the time was I the turned fight. it on, it was over. Well, that's yeah. well, that's the issue. So yeah. that that is exactly my issue. So, did any of you see the McGregor fight? No, not actual. No. No, I saw the forty six seconds after. Yeah. I, I, it was over. Okay, that's what I'm asking. You did watch the 46 seconds of I the fight. I didn't for it. No, I, I tuned in, but I did not see the fight. All right, so I'll, t- I'll tell you guys about my experience. I did not purchase the McGregor fight. Yeah, neither. Me either. Uh, I didn't make sure I was indoors to see the McGregor fight. Me either. I wasn't hyped, but I did respect the people that were hype about it. Um, I am aware of Conor McGregor's celebrity and what he does, his box office status. Mm-hmm. I'm clear on all that. I'm clear on how Dana White can't really get rid of him, even if he throws chairs at the bus and put endangers other of other uh, athletes. I get all of it. Mm. I just was never really subscribed to the Conor Conor McGregor train. I get the all the money he brings in. What that shit him and Floyd did. I never fuck with it, but I understand it. Right. Right. So I did not order this fight. I still didn't really fuck with that though. It's too much. It's too much. It's it. too much of the show. But it's because I, I know fighting for the most part. It's too much money too, though. Yeah, it's too for much sure. Money too, oh yeah, <laughs> for sure. I'm talking more on the the love of the sport shit. Oh no, no. Uh, but, of course, but that of course, be boxing about it. and uh, 
UFC as well. Uh, more than the fight is the the personality and the the promo before. Like that's much more almost than the fight. So I get it. I understand it. But that McGregor and Mayweather shit that was corny to me. I agree, Rory. Yeah, it was two. It was two promoters that happened to know how to fight. But it's it's too much money in that. I don't want let that, that is oh, separate course. from of what course, I'm saying. Of course, of course. Let me, let I me understand. Get this it. Off. Go ahead. My experience here. I just wanted to give the audience some background as to my Conor McGregor knowledge. Right. So I did not get the fight. So then I saw the fight was over in 40 seconds, however, 46 seconds, however long it was. And the clips that started circulating showed the Conor McGregor kick to the ear, to the side of the face. It was a, a hard kick. Mm-hmm. His opponent put his, put his hands up, went to the floor seemingly without any added force from Conor, right? Went to the floor, didn't appear to attempt to get up or fight back or anything. And immediately after the fight, I, I, I felt like it was rigged because then they started promoting uh, another Floyd Mayweather, Conor McGregor fight or teasing one, not to say mm-hmm. that one is established already. Right. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay, Conor McGregor was away, was away for a little bit and this is y'all establishing him this as is his fight. the top. That's what I thought initially. Yeah. Uh-huh. Make, make him when, a when, free household name to the general yeah, public, right. not yeah. to the fighting world, to the general and public. And then I was mad and I was like, oh, how could you guys not see through this? Mm-hmm. And then I saw the entire 40 seconds of that fight. Mm-hmm. And what a fucking different perspective I have. Mm-hmm. That fight was over before the kick. When he hit that shoulder he move, whooped, he the whooped sho- his ass. that little shoulder. That kick meant nothing. Getting shouldered oh, no, in the that face. Kick meant something. That guy should not have been in that fight before the kick from that fucking shoulder move. Yeah. That shoulder move off of the leg pressure to break your nose from underneath. <laughs> Yeah, that's some wild shit. I fam, <laughs> I didn't really see people give it up like they should have given it up. But boy, did my perspective change. Getting beat up by a trap is crazy. If you come, fam, <laughs> that's why a dude that could do that in the brawl, right? That's why I'm gonna I could end not... this with my rotator cuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah, man, it's a bone in there. But then, but then the folklore continued because after the fight. Then they showed us clips of Conor McGregor going up to him, hugging him. Because my, my first question was, yo, is this dude a professional fighter? <laughs> but then they show Conor McGregor going up to him, hugging him, saying, yo, the shoulder. Then they show clips of Conor McGregor practicing that shoulder move before the fight. Then when you watch it, you can literally see him set up the shoulder move. Mm. This man is a beast. Yeah. Oh, no, he's a fighter. Yeah. He's a fighter. It's, it's no. No. I've watched, fight, I've watched, animal, I've watched yeah. fighting all my life. I've never this, seen no, this. I've never seen someone UFC shoulder is, someone. This is a different type of fighting. Yeah, he's a fighter. He's a fighter. I'm, I'm, they don't even show it. You know what I'm saying? Like in all the clips. That. Nah, yeah, stop showing me this kick screen, man. Do no, your, no, no, no. He, do no, your fucking no, 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 job. No. Shoot him some bail. Yeah. No, no, no. He did, don't put at it. the top of this clip, there's a bit of the shoulder shit. Well, bring it back to the top. No, this is the whole fight. This is over at this point. This is the whole fight. The shoulder shit is right here. Look at the setup, though. Yeah, this is over already. Yeah, he broke his nose. This right fight yeah. is over now. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to get into the street fight with a guy that can end this with, with his my shoulder. shoulder no. <laughs> with yeah. no, with a guy that's looking look, to end fam, it with Look the how shoulder. much blood five seconds into yeah, this no, round no, is no, on the ground. No, 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 no. I think that was from the I'm previous out. fight. Oh, was it? I don't yeah. care. I'm out of here. Yeah. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. This fight is I thought over. They at least cleaned it. No, I clean it up. I'm falling to the ground. Don't knock me out with your trap. I'm tapping out. I'm tapping out. Tap myself out. That's crazy. Say what you want. Whatever. Collar bones snap easy, too. That's 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 all I got there, man. God damn. I'm glad I didn't pay for that it. That was impressive. I almost paid for it, too, because yeah. I, I couldn't find a little bootleg, but I finally really? did by the time oh, it came up. That shit was... Brokey. Yeah. It was over. With. I was good. I'm not like a biggest UFC fan to pay $85 this for This flex a cast has got to stop. <laughs> what happened? This flex cast has got to stop. I just think it's always fun calling somebody brokey. It is fun. We it's was, very fun. We was doing that broke. Oh, yeah. for sure. <laughs> No, and I enjoy when, when the women break it out and call men brokey. I think it's the funniest shit in the world. Yeah, no, these dudes be acting like brokies. Yeah, me included. Now that I got a couple <laughs> dollars, I can see it. <laughs> That's I, sick, I though. can see how broke I was acting now. Yeah, because you was broke. But still, See how that works? But doing the, but doing the broke shit is fun. Like Broke shit was great. Like, like, like come through. I've had much more fun when I was broke, for sure. <laughs> come through and talk to me. Even yeah. outside of women, like, just the way the shit you had to get off when you were broke was... 
It was an adventure. All the women that have dealt with rich dudes after me like me better because we did funner shit when we was broke. Yeah. Because you had to do some wild shit. So you had to have no money. And you're going to fuck me when that rich nigga fuck up. Oh, yeah. When the rich dude fuck up, you're coming right back to me. Plus, when you were broke, you're fucking a little And I had way better dick when I was broke. Yeah, exactly. You're fucking a little different when you were broke. When I was broke, I fucked you like I loved you. (laughs) (laughs) Or I hated you, either way. Yeah. Y'all are sick. Now you're just getting getting this side shot. (laughs) (laughs) I have things to do now. Yeah. (laughs) Or (laughs) side shot. (laughs) And shouldn't it just be mutually agreed on that we want the best for each other? Like, chicks put themselves in a dangerous spot wanting the best for me while I'm toxic still. Did wait? Did you just ask that a woman would have your best interest in equally wanting the best for you? Like, shouldn't you want that? Like, yeah, shouldn't you want that? Like, incrementally, like, shouldn't you check to see where I'm at with it? <laughs> you you keep thinking that, Joe. Before see you how, just see how far they get you. Want the best for a man? Yeah, you gotta you you gotta ask me first. Like, you should have a meeting with me to find out what are my best interests. Yeah, yeah, man. Because the way you ate that salmon the other day, I don't know if I see. I don't know if I see a future in us. <laughs> like, how can this be long term? You don't even watch Seinfeld. <laughs> That's a deal breaker. For me, you, and, a deal breaker. and you don't date chicks of age that watch For me Seinfeld. It is. Actually, let's stay right here since we brought up Seinfeld. Uh, Seinfeld, The Office, and Friends, uh, three of the shows that I watch inherently to see what the hell is happening out there in corporate world and business, how much of these dominant shows worth, who has the rights, who's distributing, licensing, where. Bill Simmons, uh, this week it was announced that he was in talks with Spotify, none other than Spotify, Mm. to uh, Spotify was in talks to purchase the ringer from him. Mm -hmm. And a number was never announced. It was not a number said when this story started to circulate, right? No. But but one did appear. Boy, did that story catch my attention. I hit Ian immediately and said, hey, let's find out the numbers to this Bill Simmons story. I think this stuff is relevant. That's the number? Yeah. So then, that, that wait, is the number. so then wait, slow down. So then wait. So then a few days later, the story changed from Spotify is in talks to purchase Bill Simmons, the ringer, for an undisclosed amount. No money was leaked anywhere. Uh-huh. To... Anyone looking to purchase the ringer from Bill Simmons, the the ballpark starts at two hundred million dollars. I like it. I will ask yep. you gentlemen if that we need five. <laughs> I will ask you gentlemen if the succession of that story says anything to y'all. Yeah, of course. Hell yeah. Yeah, they give him two. They give him two. I want three. <laughs> at least at least two twenty five. Y'all three. are tri- I'm not I'll be honest with you, y'all are triggering me right now. <laughs> I'm being serious Huh? I'm being serious As am I If he asking for two you're What is his me. show on currently? Uh, S- it- SoundCloud? Or is no. he at like a home? No, no, no He's on a He has uh, a website, The Ringer and, uh, and they have He produces Oh, so it's a whole network, it's bio, a network. Not a show it's Not oh, a show okay. This Got is it. a network Got Bill it. Simmons Network has Hosts over 30 podcasts. Oh, uh, okay. That makes uh, a lot more sense. And it said that they do 100 million downloads a month. Yeah. For them. So now, let it's, me, it's let not me, just giving me, 200 me, million to Bill Simmons. Let me just say right. to our listening audience that download numbers for podcasts are the same as billboard numbers in music to me. Fudgy. What are you talking about? Right. What are you saying? Right. These numbers are from where? From you? Mm. Yeah. Like there's no way to substantiate that. I'm such a huge Bill Simmons fan. Mm. Yeah, I fuck with Bill Simmons. I love Bill Simmons. I love what he stands for. I love how he goes about his business. I love how he always stands up against the corporate machine. I love the stance he took against ESPN. I'm not sure where he stands in his HBO deal, but I just love that rogue killer. He's he's got that he's got that that Kobe gene, that Kobe Tiger Mike gene in him in business. So I fuck with Bill Simmons. Uh that is totally separate from the fact that I have zero idea idea what his other twenty nine podcasts do performance wise, mm-hmm. well, and I don't want that because when you're doing business, true value has to come into play. So if Bill Simmons, be some tangible results Bill, there when you ask Simmons, for that number. Yeah, if Bill Simmons is asking for two hundred million, the person that has two million two mil, two hundred million wants to see why you think it's worth this much. What type of multitude are you at? Right. Um, are you familiar with the rest of the stuff that he has? I am not. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, me too. No, so but I, I, but I am familiar with Bill sport, Simmons yeah. and what he does. So of course you're going to overshoot when you're asking from Rip. But of course, but, but with he that, had, he has with that case, the right to overshoot, by which the way. which is fine right. for what he did at ESPN for all that thirty for thirty shit. Uh, he's just produced too many things. He's won. He's won too many different times. It's the same way I feel about myself. Like, I've won too many different places with different shit for y'all to play with me a certain way. Well, now. that you kind of, that's what I was going to get into. Of course, you overshoot at the 200 million, but Bill Simmons and his track record is going to fall somewhere close to that. Right. And in, in what he's deserving. So, and let's just keep I get it. it. We, we come from hip hop, undervalued off rip. Exactly. Yeah. So they, they, yeah. they're still connected sports, to hip hop. Sports rap. compared to hip hop, as yeah. far as you're the saying, trajectory is different. You are saying we come from hip hop? Uh, I'm saying so. In this field, they, they still don't res- they don't respect a hip, a quote unquote hip hop yeah, music but based. But don't box it that way. No, I'm just saying I'm not I'm not boxing it that way. I know it's bigger than that. Yeah, it's not what Maul is saying. That's what that's what Maul is, will, is, will look is at boxing it, it into. That's all, that's I'm saying even bigger than the hip hop part is the black part. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we, well, yeah, we, gotta, we question. don't got to tap into that. Yeah, we right. can leave that. That's our. <laughs> we can leave that in the back pocket. That right. was the one that went without we saying. Know, that's a, right. a, a ball by the corner. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know that's already there. We'll, we'll yeah, get to it. About that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm real, I'm real anxious to see how this plays out. Um, not only with Bill Simmons and his negotiations, but just all of the different streaming services that are being developed and coming forth. Uh, there's uh, NBC should be launching soon. Yeah, I'm interested in that because they have the rights to Seinfeld and Friends. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, there's another. And the office, there's another pl- and Thirty Rock and everything. There's good. An, yeah, <laughs> NBC is a lot. There's yeah. another plus that's coming. That's that's big. Like there's just a few of those that every everyone is looking to develop their own premium subscription yeah. service. Uh, I'm a- interested. in ABC all of it. ABC is doing something now, and I think one of the things that's leading it is uh, Will Smith and. Jay Z are doing the Emmett Till series. Oh, wow. uh, with ABC. Wow. Mm. Viacom and iHeart have a play coming soon as well. Mm. Uh, one F- that, figured that much. One that I certainly cannot announce, but there's a play coming soon. I think I've seen stuff. There's been information about that on the, the internet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's a lot going on. iHeart and Viacom have a, a great relationship. Yeah. Did you guys see the iHeart Awards? <laughs> I, I missed them. I, I, I must have missed them, bro. Darn it. <laughs> Any who's. <laughs> Any who's? <laughs> Any who's. <laughs> uh, what else is super important? Uh, y'all don't care about me watching a hip hop documentary. I'm assuming, but which that, one? That, which one? Uh, the evolution of hip hop on Netflix. Oh, that's a great series. Did you see it? Uh, I know they released new episodes, but I've seen the first. It's been around whatever. for quite. Some this is time. like their third season. I think. Yeah, it's yeah. been around. I was I was sitting in the barber chair, and I was and it was it just happened to be on. I was reading it. And I cut the music off and said, no, we need to turn this up and listen. That's how well done I thought this was. And I'm with Rory on the, I am so. Yeah, hip, well, we were talking. This was off microphone. We were talking. Docked out. I am. Yeah. So it, that's it, really good, though. And that was what I, I, that I was, haven't seen it. That was what I was coming here to say, Rory. They did such an amazing job. They were following, they were following the different cultures and the different people and moments that just changed this shit. Eternally, different regions. They got into different eras. Let me just try to get into some of the things that they got into. Um, I think when I looked up, they were on New Orleans, not Little Wayne, right? But they were on well, New Orleans. Yeah, New Orleans is far their, before Little Wayne and as their, far as and their culture, and it went from New Orleans to Memphis, mm. and they got to Memphis and started talking about DJ Spanish Fly. Mm. and just that whole three six wave and so forth and so on how that was developed in the culture in memphis they took that to little john in atlanta Mm. and what he did with what uh three six had already laid out and they did a really good job of painting how dark and horrific three six music was (laughs) (laughs) because i don't think that's noted enough parks tries to do it on his podcast uh from time and time again but Boy, that shit was like the hardest. eerie. Yeah, absolutely eerie, <laughs> dark horror. They just they it was really horror. That kind of. I mean, what yeah. would be bla- yeah. blindly classified as horror at the beginning? Yeah, they got yeah. into that. That got to uh, Detroit has some some good artists in that absolutely. genre too. That's what, but, <laughs> but that's what they got to from Lil John. From Lil John, they went into the power of the chant records, clubbing the crunk era, and 
him producing. And from yeah. him producing, they went into Dilla. Mm -hmm. And then they got into everything that Dilla gave you. Far Side, Q-Tip, Slum I Village, Common. Yeah. I seen you name it, they gave it to you. Hero. From Dilla, they went into super producers. They went into Teddy Riley. They mm. started in Harlem. Oh, that's dope that they started they, with Teddy. They started in Harlem. They brought him to Virginia Beach, and they gave us Timbaland and Missy and the Neptunes. Mm. They so they did tied it all together. They did a great job. Then they took it to they took it to Atlanta. They took it to Ti's flop on Def Jam, what was labeled a flop. And I remember it because he was on Def Jam, and they were talking about him like a flop when I got there. Mm. Uh, and in his deal with Atlantic, mm -hmm. he, he went from Def Jam to Atlantic, and he told the story. I'm gonna tell this to y'all because I just thought it was fascinating. How he was on a flop with his first joint on Def Jam. He went to the mixtapes, then they went to the mixtape scene. Right. Yeah, he went to the mixtapes, tore, started tearing shit up, and then he went. To, uh, L.A. called him. Go, uh, ghostwriting scene he, too. He was making it hot. Mm. Then L.A. called him. He said, "Yo, I think it's time for you to start working on your second album." Ti said, "Listen, fam, I need a million dollars, or I need to, uh, my walking papers." He mm. said, "L.A. said, yo, I'm gonna give you exactly what you want. You can your, walk. Your walking papers. <laughs> <laughs> you can walk." He said it was a blessing in disguise because he turned around and got $2 million from Atlantic. And Atlantic is where T.I. started to build his his legacy. Oh, yeah, for sure. From the mixtape scene, they took that to drama getting arrested and what that did to Canal Street and everywhere else. Everywhere. Huge moment. That's a, that's Huge a, moment. That's a way bigger case than, I think, hip-hop. Acknowledge right? Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. that was different. Well, because it was still it fairly recent. Everything. So, but, yeah, that was a huge landmark case. Huge. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. That's what stopped the mixtape as we knew it. It's true. Ultimately. And and, and boosted because of course Napster and that whole world was so much more than just hip hop, but that boosted hip hop into the internet wave. I think way more than people realize. Then yeah. they then they went to the internet wave. Yeah, they 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 just did a really yeah. good Dra job. Dramas, physicals, getting the fuck out of here from the federal government definitely I think really pushed hip hop way more into let's just focus on putting shit out on the internet. Yeah, then which they, changed the entire tone <laughs> yeah. of hip hop. As far as what you talked about, I mean, now, that's, isn't that kind of what hip hop is though? No when doubt. They try to when they try to silence it, it only grows. No doubt. Yeah. It's not the first time they try to. Of silence. course. Yeah, this hip documentary no, did a great hip -hop, job. Hip hop is the definition of finding a way. It, it right. did a great job of explaining hip hop as as counterculture. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I agree. That that's 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 it what is. still they did. to this day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they got yeah. in. The, they got in. The, they got in the Wayne and the state. Of cash money before we knew Wayne was Wayne. Mm. Mm -hmm. Like I've been waiting for the real Wayne doc, not the VH1 behind the music doc. I need the the little Wayne doc. That's the one I don't I'm waiting know if on. You're gonna get what you're looking for. I think I, I, that's, that's kind of been one. why I think it hasn't happened yet because I don't think it'll do justice to who he is as a human being. While, while you say that, let's big up our good brother and, and podcast pioneer Noriega. For sure, uh, yeah, drink, drink champs. champs. Uh, there, Lil Wayne interview. There's apparently a little Wayne interview signed, sealed, delivered. It's ours, depending on when they want to give it to us. Oh, dope. Um, now, that sounds really dope, but because of the, what I just said to Rory, I don't know how dope it would be because I don't know no, Wayne. Which, how well, much Wayne, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what he's willing to divulge right now. Right. But they yeah. should be, They Nori does good at getting shit out of people. Well, I so. think even the Wayne doc, done by the right people and the right timing, can be done to some degree without him on camera. I'm not saying not off camera. Can be done with him without him sitting there and him trying to tell his life story. Right. I think it's possible to do. I want him to be involved with it in telling that story. Right. I just don't think we need him directly on camera to tell that story. If it was the right people, yeah. I, agree. I, I think it's possible. I agree. His story is so, in the whole cash money stories. Wayne has one of the wildest stories, I think, in hip hop. Definitely. But... I'm happy to hear that, Joe, that the hip hop evolution, it's been sitting on my Netflix and I've refused to yeah, click it since, it since no, season really, one. Really, no, it's, it's been around. It's, like it's, been around. it's really, really it's, good. It's I've refused really to click first, it. I think two seasons, like, it was, this is the third season. I think it's the third, but I could yeah, be wrong I've seen the first. I've, yeah. I've just been hip hop docked out. They, they've, they've Biggie and Tupac'd me to death and they've annoyed the shit out of me because it feels like you're just trying to capitalize on some shit that you know will click because we love this. And I feel like every night before streaming, every network came on and was like, this is the breaks and beats right, no, doc. The, and I'm like, fam, you've done this a million times. You try to grab KRS one. So we're like, all right, this is solidified. And then it's the same surface bullshit. Now that you're telling me this, I, I'm more on board. They did it. Oh my God. They got into, now that you say, uh, care, they throw KRS one in every doc because they do. 
but they got into the art of ciphering and what Giuliani's residency in New York did to kill that. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Well, that's not... Giuliani killed a... Matter of fact, like New York was, City might be what it is so, right now because of Giuliani. This, I don't mean that in a good way. Yeah, it is. 100%. So in depth. Like, they started showing rappers and ciphers just being hauled away to jail because New York City was trying to become more tourist friendly and more mm-hmm. attractive to tourists and bring more money in. Mm-hmm. Man, it was fucked up. They had Supernat. They had all of the people that you would want to hear from talk. That anybody, any topic they were on, the right person was there to tell us about it. Mm. Yeah. And not just the fabricated surface bull. Like, they was getting into it. It was a knowledgeable person. Yeah. If you have time and you love hip-hop, check it out. It's good. I'm going to continue to watch it. Yeah. I, I can't wait to watch the new one. And one day I'll get my dad to call in and give me his Giuliani rant. I was too young, but my dad has, has, <laughs> has this theory. 9-11 put Giuliani in this light that we forgot how much Giuliani fucked up the city. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Like, we all came together, and he was the guy after 9-11. Like, we're in New York, we're strong, and everyone was like, all right, I'm, roll- I'm rocking with Giuliani for a second because he seems to be doing well here. And that just put the wool over probably more white people. I can't speak to y'all experience. To white people's experience in New York City, of him being this great mayor. <laughs> Listen, the same thing that's happening with our presidency, well, this is the Joe Budden, I don't have any facts theory, but the whole thing of, hey, they gave us the black president, so after that they're going to make us pay. It's the same thing that happened in New York. Uh, once they got David Deacon, Dinkins out of here, uh, Giuliani and Bloomberg, whoever you want to say, I can talk yeah. about the foul shit that was implemented in New York City mm. after that. Just 100%. specifically with Giuliani and, and the complete shift in New York City. That happened during his mayorship, if that's even the right word. Yeah. 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 No, I get it. Um, Yeah, so check it out if you haven't seen it. That was not an ad. Uh, This is also not an ad. As I was perusing, I saw saw, uh, saw, um, a a teaser trailer for Spencer and Hodges. Not familiar. On Netflix. This is uh, Mark Wahlberg. And the dude, the dude uh, from Black Panther that was holding down the other fort away from Michael B. Jordan and them. Chad, both of them. Chad? I don't. No, not Chad. The other dude, the dude that they had to go solicit his help from the other tribe to come through. The heavier oh, dude with the mohawk. Oh, dude from the other movie when they see us. Uh, the black dude. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, I know you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, talking I, about. I don't, I don't know, know his name. name. The heavier I'm said black. This fucked up. I don't know his name. Savon, yeah. look for his name if you find it. We can mention <laughs> it. Uh, but yeah, they have a movie coming out on Netflix that looks pretty dope too. Okay. So good to see that Netflix is still spending a lot of money on great content. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, and uh, they're in every fucking. Here we go. Spencer Confidential. Is they're that Post whole... Malone? Yes, yeah, Post. Oh, that's why you want to talk about this. No. no, no, no <laughs> it's, it's good. It's good. I don't know. If you haven't seen this trailer? No, no I haven't. But I, oh, I, trailer, I, I, I fuck with what Mark Wahlberg does. So. This is hard. This is hard. You, you, you will want to watch it after it's over. Here's um, here's why I think Mark Wahlberg can yet? can fight. No. Okay. No, no. He has the same fighting stance and same fighting moves in every movie. So I think that's just how he fights. It don't change. There's not some guy guiding him on how to fight in movies. He just fight that way. Uh, but speaking of trailers, I saw a and hip hop trailers. I saw a DJ Screw um, trailer that looks amazing. I don't know where it's going, but it looks like it's done really, really well. Uh, it's all. It's called All Screwed Up. Uh, official trailer. Does it say where it's gonna be out at? They got into the the Screw movement. That's dope. <laughs> yeah, nah. They did. They, they they killed that. They killed that. They did. I don't know who's responsible for it, but man, what a what a doc. Winston Duke was the actor I was looking for. Winston Duke. Thank okay. you, Savon. Thanks, man. Good pass, Savon. You're doing a good job out mm-hmm. there, man. Wait a uh, and IYO yeah, Visuals check out, check out the game now. is the uh, <laughs> the ones doing the DJ Screw movie. I don't want to oh. just give credit to the conglomerates Do of we know Netflix it's, and Hulu. That's Netflix? It says IY on it, so I just want to give them the credit if that's okay. where it's going to end up. Cool. Because I don't want to just promote Netflix and Hulu. Yeah, yeah. Uh, IYO is where the screwed thing is coming from. I'm going to look for it. Do, do, you it. Guys, do you guys have anything to say about Royce versus Yellow Wolf? We failed to talk about it last time we were here. Uh, for the people who may be unaware, Royce did our podcast, and I was alluding to some of his lines from his new album that's not available right now. Uh, but the lines were about Yellow Wolf. Yes. Uh, and apparently Royce and Yellow Wolf have had some type of back and forth. Hey, before I get into Royce and Yellow Wolf, I hate when our podcast video is released and you hip hop blogs start talking about something I said. I don't like it. Like, it's lazy to me. Like, y'all go figure out some shit to talk about, man. Stop just putting words in my mouth. 
Joe will rap with Slaughterhouse only under these conditions. <laughs> Shut up. Are you uh, uh if Lupe Fiasco joins? Are you uh, are you new to blogs, Joe? I love Lupe. <laughs> I hate blogs. Are you, are you new here? You saw that tweet. I'm assuming. Blogs. Shut the. F- yeah, I saw Lupe tweet, man. What did Lupe say? He said, uh, yeah. "Let me join Slaughterhouse. I'm going to replace you." Oh, I would enjoy that. I think that of all the uh, conversations I've ever heard, yeah, what's wrong with that? That one makes the most sense. I don't. Yeah, Lupe could be like your Wayno. <laughs> Lupe being like your Wayno is. Funny. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> That's some yeah, funny shit. Niggas don't give Lupe's pen to respect it. Or Wayno's. All right, we're going to move on. <laughs> we're going to move on now. Um, uh, Yellow Wolf and Royce. Yellow Wolf and Royce. You guys react to it. What do you think? Uh, I'm privy to the information that is not public, so I won't divulge. But if it okay. remains to be true, then Royce is 100% in the right. And fuck Yellow Wolf. Gotcha. Okay. Well, Maul. Well, I spoke to Royce over the weekend. <laughs> All right, I think yeah. I was the only one that didn't speak to Royce over the weekend. Yeah, no, this is uh, communication. No, lack, lack, lack of. I mean, uh, I get that's, that's all, part. That's part. That's of it. all I'll say on it. It's, that's it's part a conversation of it. that Yellow Wolf wants to have with Royce. He wants to. He wants to have a conversation with Royce. Probably too late for that now. Well, when you start Probably with Yellow Wolf, this is your your first and last pass. Uh, right. I don't. I don't know if there's much talking after that. Yellow Wolf's. Uh, post and delete on Instagram the red racist hmm. slum America shut up slum America is that what he said that's his little brand, that's little fuck brand. With. shut up nigga shut up yellow wolf slum America no. you don't fuck with the slum America shit no, not, not, no, from, I, <laughs> not from I, what I, I heard I believe every word of what I heard about yellow wolf Yeah, I believe okay. every word of it so that's where Joe comes from yeah. Okay. so my stance is that I'm shocked by it, but I believe it, yeah. Yeah, I believe it. And when and, and with that, when I read Slum Erica, I think it's a dog whistle. Mm. I I think it's I think it's that's the same as Make America Great Again for me. That's that's your little young hip white way of saying it. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and uh I know how particular Royce is with words, so to that point, and I know Kid Rock's point of views now yeah. in this day and age. Fuck him too. Uh, so rapping till you get fi- uh, found face down on the ground outside of Kid Rock's house, to your point there, yeah, I, I think Royce is choosing his words so we all very say, correctly. We all say fuck. <laughs> while, we're, while we're on I'm with, I'm. It's fuck whoever Royce say fuck. <laughs> that too. Oh, that's what that, you rap that with. part. <laughs> Joe included. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I rap with Royce. While we're on this whole racism thing, one of the other stories that's not being talked about nearly as much as I think it should be <laughs> Is uh, Harry and his wife moving to Canada? <laughs> Shorty getting a job. Him denouncing his. She got a gig. Him him denouncing his prince and king and mm-hmm. throne rights, saying, "Yo, nah, fam, love, I'm good, I'm yeah. out. I like it. Yeah, I'm cool on that. Yeah, but we not, that this is so that is so big. It really is. What a statement." Yeah, fuck a kingdom. That's all I got. I don't have anything <laughs> yeah. else. But I mean, I just figured it would be talked about a little more. This, yeah, this, I like yeah. it because this statement that's being made amidst all the things that we have heard be alleged about the kingdom for a long time. Yeah, the rumblings of racism. Yeah. If that if that is the the reason why he's leaving the family, and I know they haven't particularly liked her, I'm totally with it. But there is another side of this that I don't think much people are talking about. Do tell. You're acting like he's leaving something and he's going to go get a job at Target in Toronto. I think he'd be all right. Fam, they're moving to a no, 13.7 no, million seafront home. I know it's romantic to everyone on Twitter. Oh my God, his family didn't like her, so he's going to take her across. He's going to denounce his royal They don't have no fucking government there. Like, they don't really make decisions. Yes, they're a royal family. Right. Like, it's in their blood. I get all that. I never thought either one of them was poor. <laughs> like, like even without all of this like yeah you can leave and it, and it be fine yeah they're not leaving to go struggle that's yeah what, I, that, that I, won't I, be I, I can the job that she got was not at McDonald's <laughs> yeah no no, no. <laughs> they won't be struggling I'm yeah not, but what Harry was saying was a little telling what did he say uh, what I read was that he they were trying to negotiate and he was saying I'll still serve <laughs> Mm-hmm. Like even amidst our differences, I'll serve 
without the title. I'll serve without payment. I'll serve without whatever benefits come with serving. I'll just serve because I'm real that way. And they was like, nah. Mm. <laughs> nah, we cool. Peace. That was telling to me. Yeah. I wish somebody would start leaking some shit. I would like to hear some more information. Yeah, I want to yeah, know 100%. what's happening over there. Yeah. Even though this tells me what's happening, I would love some confirmation on a few things that I think. And that's it. That's all I got there. Uh, what else is important here? The Let impeachment me... trials are starting yesterday. Which trials? I'm sorry, can you? Impeachment. impeachment. impeachment oh, yeah. Trials. Mm-hmm. I don't think anything will happen, but I don't it's going to be interesting to follow, I guess. It, it was definitely interesting to follow with all they have on Trump. Uh, I will be watching it, but it goes to the Senate. I'm, I'm not hopeful either. So. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Maul, yes. come on, let's talk about your man and baby for a minute before we get out of here. It's my guy. Give it to us. Give it to us. <laughs> By the way, I guess, my, I'm sorry, I'm going back. My my point there was, if you're going to denounce all that and you hate all that, denounce the money too. That's my point. So, <laughs> so. That's think, that's really what I was trying to get out in the bread. But, but, I know. But so but you're now, not really I, denouncing but, but, shit. So but, shut up. That's not. But that's not true. If if my family if if my family is he has denounced the bread. <laughs> no, he hasn't. He has no. It's never off, worked in his has, life. What are you talking about? Where where do you get that money? From his family. Oh, you the nigga that's taking the bag back after you break up with Shorty. <laughs> no, he has whatever money he has. He has denounced any money moving forward. He has denounced the sir ship or whatever. When you that's can buy called. a thirteen point seven million seven million buy, house, of buy, course you're going to denounce the money moving they forward. They you have enough. They didn't buy the house for it. Bro, so you that's the, that's the I'm house. not hating. I'm just I'm putting they another both, perspective but here. They both had money. Yeah, they come from. They money. both had money because they come from money. So if you're going to denounce your family where the money came from, denounce the money too. If you're going to give them all this fucking credit, no. Yeah. If they're racist, take all their money and move to Canada. Roy hating because he come from broke. <laughs> you can't be mad at somebody for where they come from. No, I, I no, 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 no. I'm not mad at that at all. I'm just not hyping them the way you're hyping them about denouncing this structure and how they feel about her and this royal family, and then running away with some of the royal money. Then you, oh, then you're not informed enough. If you were informed on how all of this went, I think you would commend both of them for leaving. Okay, maybe I'm not informed. Yeah, that's a huge. That's 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 bigger than hey. Yeah, nah, I think it's big. That's all. That's yeah. all I'm saying. Yeah. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, Maul, come on, give it to us. How you feel? How you feel? How you feel? Your man just won't keep his hands to himself. <laughs> yeah, I mean, be honest. I, the the Use story your platform responsibly. The story surrounding this is the valet worker was asked to take a picture of him. There's always a reason while he was with his. There's gonna always be a reason to beat somebody up. Yeah, and he, you know, he respectfully declined, and then he caught the valet worker t- taking a sneaky video. And trying to post it, and and I'm hating, and we and got I'm hating because all of us want to beat up the guy that takes a sneaky video. Yeah, yeah. it's annoying. All of yeah. us want to put hands on him, sit him down, take his phone, delete the video, tell his job, sue sue his employer. Yeah. We all want to do that. Yeah, yeah. That ain't. I don't know, man. If, if y'all, he, speak he just to has it. to. I y'all think speak he, to he just having a hard time separating the fact that he's a he's a he's a superstar now. Right. And he yeah, has all to, that, yeah, all that shit he told me, it's over for that, dog. Yeah, he got to, yeah. you got to separate. Yeah, you gotta like, relax. It, unfortunately, you cannot, I understand, and I'm not a father, but I, I would not want someone filming my child either for, for yeah. privacy and safety as well. So I do understand that part. But you do have to understand that you're a superstar now. You can't just put hands on people because you will end up with lawsuits and then in court more than you want to. And it's just not worth it. Have security, have people around you that can go and put those fires out whenever they may happen. But you can't, you can't. It just can't be you. It can't be you. That's my only point. It just can't be you. It can't be you. Even if you're accustomed to that, even if it's you in your hood, it can't be you anymore. It can't be you. You're a superstar now. This is what comes with it. You can't put your hands on people. You can't fight people. You have to have security. You have to have a team around you that can, like I said, He got a team there and it's still him putting his hands on, 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 on homeboy. Yeah. But I mean, like this is all new for him. This is I get it. I'm understanding. He, he is he's having a hard time separating. The I fact that, I get it and yeah. I understand it. I yeah. only speak this way on this podcast because I don't think they will. Right. I don't think they'll respect it. Yeah. And get it and just all right. Nah. All right. Nah. I don't, I don't, but I like don't, we we've spoken about it, it on on the, on the show before. There has to be a rule for just recording and filming people, though. Agreed. They have to change. It has, it has, to, it has to be a law. That's true. It had, they, you they have, have to, to pass that. a law for yeah. that. Yeah, you have to. Especially, Celebrity or not? Yeah, like yeah. you can't just put a camera on somebody after they told you that they didn't want to take a 
a picture. I don't care Allegedly, if they ask or not. You should not be story. able to just film no. people. But yeah, you shouldn't, especially kids and, and stuff like that. No, you. Yeah. there has to be a law about that. 100%. It's not safe. But until then, you know, the baby, he can't, you you can't put your hands on people. They're, they're looking for a reason to have you in court. Trust me. Yeah. They hate the fact that you are where you are in your life. Yeah. I got to be honest, Mo. I didn't think you would come in here and... Speak. Well, you know, I'm elevating and, a little bit. I'm working on myself. <laughs> I, said, I, I didn't think Mo would yeah. come in here and you know, speak so eloquently on the matter. He's a, he's a and, vegan. You know, well, he spoke so eloquently in his post, so I thought I had to match that energy and uh, speak eloqu- eloquently about... All right, well, it's important. No, he eloquently told us why he did it. Yeah. They eloquently okay. not going to care. Yeah. <laughs> Like that's the no, part the court, that the court I want to respond care. to in that, yeah. hey, in that matter. Hey, baby, if you're talking to us, duh. Yeah. Some right. weirdo was trying to film your kid. We, we understand, we buddy. Yeah, we get it. I We're on you your too. side. Yeah. yeah. You just this conversation is not going to land at us. No. <laughs> it's going to land with them. Uh, but prayers out to the baby, man. And he's 100 percent right. You you do just violating your uh the the codes at your job. That too. Yeah. yeah. But, Valet the fucking car And at the Beverly but also, Hills Hotel It's like you see celebrities all the time Y'all know the, They they talk to the Valley Yeah he in LA yeah. Yeah. That's that, what threw me off that you, hotel you in LA see, and they acting like that Right Yeah but you also working at the spot That will sell the uh, The fucking video to TMZ I'm putting yeah. that But I'm putting like, that I'm putting that on the baby too You make Any it, hotel you sells You make it 200 shit. grand a show yeah. yeah You should be somewhere Where the Valet dude Know better Yeah Yeah at two hundred grand, come on, man, come on, man. Yeah, I've never made it, but yeah, nah. Right. <laughs> um, is there anything else important? I want to say rest in peace to Hostile from Screwball. I don't know if you remember Screwball, Black Poet, and them from the '90s. Uh, Black Poet, I know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Screwball, Screwball Mike, I know. Mike, Mike, Mike Scroop. Well, he had a big part in mm-hmm. producing their first album. Mm-hmm. Hostile passed away. I'm not sure how. Not much information on that, but rest in peace. Oh man, yeah. The rest of Yo, the fam, they're stealing your car outside. <laughs> yeah, I don't... it's out of here, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> rest in peace, Asta. Rest in peace to Jimmy Heath, who's a legendary uh, jazz saxophonist. Yes. yes, played with Miles Davis, played with everybody. So, mm. just want to send prayers and condolences out to family, friends, Dope. fans. Yes, uh, of everyone. While while mm-hmm. we're here, what do you guys what do you guys think of the rumored uh, Meek tribute? I mean, not Meek Nipsey tribute. Nipsey tribute yeah. that Meek is a part of at the Grammys. I don't think that's rumored. I think that's that's absolutely confirmed. John Legend, Kirk Franklin, uh, DJ Khaled, Meek. I think Roddy. I saw YG on there. Roddy, uh, Roddy yeah. on Roddy. there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that that's great. It's great yeah. if it's great. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. It's great. I, I, mean, I, I think that, all of those people have have real love for Nip and, and would I've never do something. I've seen some people uh, trashing this. They have real love and fuck it up. Yeah, I've seen some people mm. trashing this, but I, I like it only because it. They, whenever the Academy pays tribute to anything hip hop, I gotta accept it. That's just me, like because I know that they do their best to try not to showcase hip hop. Yeah, no, nah, I'm slamming you niggas if y'all do it wrong. Oh no, it has to I'm, be. I'm done killing right. y'all if y'all do it. Only because this is this is not like some of the recent uh celebrity music deaths we've seen. When Whitney died, the Grammys was coming up, it was a rush. I didn't expect yeah. y'all to really have it flushed out. It happened yeah. during the um, Y'all have time with this. Yeah. yeah. And y'all have the right people that, with this. That's why I have more faith in it, where a lot of tribute performances end up being sometimes it's like, why are you on this tribute? Like you ain't really fuck with them like that. The fact that the Grammys of all places is allowing Meek, Roddy, and YG involved in this. Of course, the Khaled John Legend Khaled, thing. John. We we know that's gonna go from John the record. Legend's voice makes everything better. It does, and we know that the, uh, they have that record too, which I, was nominated as well. Yeah. But adding Meek, Roddy, and YG, the Grammys of all places, I can't go into this judging it yet. Like I think they I still do it justice. Yeah, I gotta see that. And add Kirk to it with his voice as well. Yeah. I got uh, I have faith going into this one. I'm pretty sure Khaled had a lot to do with pulling in Meek and Roddy and I think so too. Whoever else, but either way, uh, I gotta respect any time they showcase uh, hip hop on the Academy Awards. So, on, especially with Grammys, it, excuse me, when it appears to be the right people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I respect it, but please uh, do it right, please. What do y'all What do y'all think about speaking of academies and shit? Uh, Derek Jeter, no, no anonymous Hall of Fame ballot. Made it though. Made the Hall of Fame. 
Not anonymous. No, that's not anonymous. I can't not, speak. Uh, not I, it's not anonymous. <laughs> I'm, you never, we've been here for five hours and we've he been missed, drinking. Yeah, but it's it's okay. He I missed ne- it by I one never vote. We did two that, pods today. I never thought that Derek Jeter should be a unanimous Hall of Fame. Um, that's insane. Because because we revere him in New York. I'm not certain that everybody feels the same way that we feel about him the, in New York. With Mariano Rivera, you couldn't deny it. Other places felt that way about Mariano Rivera. No, Derek's uh, loved. He, he Derek, Derek Jeter sure. is he's he's y'all, he's, y'all, the, he's on that not list. Not replying to what I'm saying. No, he's on that. He he definitely should have been a unanimous decision though. No, he shouldn't. Have. I, I'm, I'm well. I'm gonna give you a free. That would be our few. New York bias. No, it's no. not. Every other How? person in the game recognizes Mariano, York- Ma- Mariano Rivera as the best closer ever. And if you don't, he has stats to back it up. Okay, well, uh, Derek Jeter is not no. Derek, don't do that. Joe, don't do Derek, that. Derek Jeter. Derek and I'm not Jeter. even going to argue because we in New no, no, York no, no, and no, I it's, love it's him. I'm, I'm not making this argument. But the New York fan base is way bigger than just New York. To no, say no, no. unanimous Joe, listen, means I'm that not you. one person is going to. And but nah. only, only one person didn't vote for him unanimously. So that says something. That says that everybody says except this one person felt that way. It says what I'm saying. Even though a Bill Polian, you got to relax. Jeter should have been a unanimous decision. Without no. question. Uh, yeah, he should have been. Yeah, I'm not going to argue with y'all. New York all I'm, those years. You never involved York. in any Tyler the, Lloyd's. I get, we usually have a New York bias, but the, Derek Yanke, Jeter, the Yankee uh, fan base is way bigger than just New I York I don't City. think Jeter is a, is a Derek, New York bias. Derek yeah. Jeter was never the best shortstop in baseball. Of, no, I don't think no. we argue on that at all. The, the end. For, no, for a few years he was. No, he wasn't. Yes, he was. No, he was not. No, he was not. How not? He, he, he won he Golden Gloves. He won championships. How was he not? The Golden Glo- He won the go- He won the Golden Gloves. Gloves. Y- yes, he has Golden Gloves under his belt. And a yes. Golden Glo- Globe. <laughs> See, we all can't speak today. I said Golden Glove. I didn't say Globe. I heard, I heard Golden Gloves. I said Golden Glove. He has Golden Gloves. He has a cha- He has championships. He was never involved in any scandals. Except and for he played in the bitches. biggest media market Plus in the world. Plus, he bagged all the bad bitches. Yeah, like yeah, he, he was. Played in the he was a sniper media before the sniper. He was never involved in any crazy you, shit. Like you guys, I'm I'm agreeing with y'all, and I'm never going to argue against Derek Jeter. <laughs> no, he should have been. But it's my. Job. But it's no. It's, I understand he's why in. the one person that didn't. Maybe he didn't. That's it. That's all I'm saying. He, he, he did. Bill Polian is fucking nuts, and he has to relax. What did he say? He's the guy that he's he's one of two that did not vote for Lamar Jackson as the MVP. Uh, he's also the guy to say that Lamar Jackson shouldn't be a quarterback; he should be a running back or a wide uh, receiver. And he hasn't left it except for the one time where we all were uh, riding Lamar Jackson. Dickney came out and said, "All right, I was wrong about that, y'all." <laughs> Like, look what a black man has no, to accomplish for yeah, this guy to say Mark, y'all was wrong about that. Well, who, who should be MVP this year? I, I, I don't know. Sure. But Bill Polian, <laughs> I'd be curious what his vote was. Bill Polian has to shut the fuck up. Yo, sometimes, listen to this. Wait, when, hold on. This says all pro as the headline. Well, whatever it was. That No, that's even crazier. Yeah, if he's not. There's all, other yeah. all pros. Right. He, he will, he, <laughs> listen, he, that kid will be the MVP. Yeah. I don't know what this Sometimes you got to know when you just too young to know about something. And when you just too old to know about something, just when you refuse to update your information and ideology, like Bill Polian, what are you doing? Like being, being you look nuts. Yeah. You look nuts though, just being married to to the wrong. Right. But you know that yeah. we all wrong. No, it's I, nothing. I, I, I no think... shame. It's no shame in being wrong. Right. But when you marry the wrong, yeah. Bill Polian, come on, you expert. You expert. Uh, I do also think that they do a lot of this shit. Because they have 24-hour sports networks now. Now, now we have something to talk they, about for another pull, eight hours. They pull Bill Polian out every once in a blue. It ain't like he's there just tired the same, from jumping from show to here's, show. Here, here's the thing now. I think He should have got enough rest to make a calculated assessment. <laughs> no, the same, the same way I think they have payola or used to with records on the radio, I think they have that now with network shit. Like I think if you're the one voting on certain shit, I think a network will pay you to do some wild shit, to have something to talk about for eight hours when we won't have anything to talk about. Hey, I Bill, think there's payola hey, in hey, decisions. Hey, Bill, I think it's the same way with Grammy snubs. Hey, and Bill some, Polian, and Tony Romo is here, my guy. But you know what it is. Because <laughs> you keep saying stupid shit like this. That's why Tony Romo is here and getting the 14 million but, a but year But that's ticket. what I was going to say, Joe. A lot of the times, too, it's the fact that a lot of these dudes are, they're up there in age. No, no, I'm with so you. So they should be, it should be a time where it's like, okay, maybe he needs to step down and because sometimes, you know, you get old, you don't look, you don't see the game the same anymore. You see it from when you were heavily mm-hmm. involved in the game. But anybody can see that Lamar Jackson is an all-pro 
MVP and whatever the fuck else you want to give him for the quick for the sidebar. Season. Anybody can see that as soon as Molly came back from a two week break, Stephen A wasn't there either. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped watching that show. Yeah, I don't Listen, watch that show. It's only my job to point things out to no people. Doubt. That's it. I can't sit there and watch them argue about the Cowboys. Yo, the, 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 the every, every I'm done. Episode. I'm done, bro. Wait, the they're two, America's team parks. Fam, the two week break when there's no game and we have to wait for the Super Bowl is oh, arguably be. some of the worst sports casting we've ever seen. Oh, back, bad. back to my payola point. Yeah. Now it we get, now real. we're talking about this. Yeah. Mahomes versus Brady. <laughs> Like all types of bullshit. I think a lot of that has to do with the Brady did they make a, shit now. Did they make a mistake giving up Jimmy G? No, yeah. but somehow it'll be about Dak Prescott <laughs> and the Cowboys for this whole time. That's the shit that be annoying me. Cowboys mm-hmm. haven't really been a perennial playoff team in 15 Mad years. Yeah, but listen, listen, be clear. That's attacking the algorithms. It's the same as more like yeah. the picks. When, the, when, the, when <laughs> ESPN talks about the Cowboys, when the conversation is not relevant to the Cowboys at all, it's only because when you say the Cowboys... It happens. I get it. The ratings come they're in. Still so America's they, team. They, they're going to force a conversation on the Cowboys, LeBron, yeah. Mahomes. The Lakers. The Lakers. Yeah. I think those are the four. Yeah. Oh, and Brady and the Patriots. Yeah. The end. The end of it. But even me. then, I don't even think. I think the Cowboys is brought up more than Brady and the Patriots. Definitely. Fam, the <laughs> shit that the Astros did is like some of the most unbelievable I don't know shit how that's in not the being world. Talked about <laughs> and it is. They, they just like, that comes in the D the, the block of the show. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. And then the Astro players want to get up there and lie to us to our face, man. You got no 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 Yo, choice man. but to be cynical and 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 a skeptic to some of this shit. I gotta respect it though. If I'm if I'm in that locker room and I know what went on, y'all never know. Fam, you niggas is cheats and Carlos Beltran, pack it up. <laughs> what the fuck, the fuck are you talking Beltron, about? Beltran, you're out of here. Beltran, <laughs> you're hired and you're out of here. <laughs> damn, they didn't have damn, a choice. Damn, Los. Uh, what what could they do? I felt bad for Belcher. I'm my guy. <laughs> and I think he deserves a shot. I think he'd be a great manager. But you got to go, man. We all got in the Super Bowl. You got to go. I told you. Niners man. all the way. Niners going, all the way. I know they want to give Andy Reid one. Chiefs. I'm I going know Chiefs. they want to give Andy Reid one. I'm going Chiefs. Niners the gang in the MAGA Bowl. Nah. Chief, the Chiefs. The MAGA Bowl. <laughs> it is the <laughs> MAGA Bowl. Chiefs 48-45. It's not the MAGA Bowl. You have shot it that high? It's going to be a shoot. No. Wait, one of them might hit 50. No. It's going to be That's a shootout. That's a lie in the no Super Bowl. Way. It's going to be a shootout. I got the Chiefs. No what? I got shootout. The, I got the Chiefs 35 49ers. You think somebody getting 50 against Magabosa? I said it may. It may. Not, against, not against Magabosa. <laughs> I got Chiefs 45, Niners 24. You have someone scoring 45 in the Super Bowl? Yeah. Absolutely. I'll take all these all right. bets, by the way. I'm taking the Niners, and I'm taking the under. If the, if the, if the over is 50. 90. Overall. I'm taking, over total. Yeah, points. yeah. Yeah. I'm taking the under. I don't think I, nobody's coming here to play defense. It's not happening. Shit. All right. I think this is gonna be a uh, it's gonna be a shootout, but I don't think it. I think it'll be forty five twenty four, Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes is like that. Mm, I got the Chiefs. Chiefs by ten. Well, you guys, why don't you tell me about your Super Bowl plans? Watching it with someone I thought, special, I thought, about doing, I thought about doing a Super Bowl party. There you go. No, no, I know no we're one, not invited. No one's but... been to your house. <laughs> not at the crib. I thought about doing that at a, at a, at a spot. <laughs> he oh, said, like not at the crib. Thing. Oh, like, oh, you're going um, to call, host. Call Jay for the 4040, duh. No, not the 4040. Yo, I need the spot real quick. Leave the key under the mat. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> leaving the key to the 4040 yeah, under the mat. That's how Maul talked to him. Yeah, I, mean, yeah, I still might do it. I got to do some more planning, but yeah, I might do it. I like that. Okay. I'm thinking about doing a cannabis infused. Super Bowl party. Mm. All, All right. food will be cannabis. Oh, cannabis going to be there? Be I, love <laughs> cannabis be I love Buckingham no. Palace. Is he going to rap? <laughs> great song. That was, that's oh, the shit. halftime show? <laughs> the halftime show is cannabis rapping? No, Rory. That's not the halftime show. No. You that's got, what I thought about doing. You got the queens there? The queens? Yeah. Women? The bitches? No, women, yeah, women. You, women. You, you, Look you at got, how we had to go you, you, for more to figure out what you were saying. <laughs> yeah, you got a queen bitches. Yeah, you yeah. gonna have the queens and, bitches and, and in queens there? bitches. Yeah, and queens, and queens bitches. <laughs> yeah, they'll they'll be there <laughs> for sure. Yeah, we're joking, guys. <laughs> No, because a few chicks did me during the week. Like, yo, you said bitches a lot. You need to get that out. It's just a joke. Yeah. Just a joke. Just Entertainment just podcast. Just kidding. That's it. And That's some fun. of y'all are 
That's small clay. I didn't say anything. Small I said clay. Some of y'all are. <laughs> I didn't say anything. That's that small clay right there, giving it up for y'all. Oh, I mean, you know, I do what I can. Uh, Kansas and Kansas State just got in a big fight oh, during yeah. a basketball Who game. Won? Oh, my money's on Kansas. One of the, <laughs> I don't know. Kansas, Kansas State got less to lose. Yeah. One, one, one of the Kansases. Yeah. Oh, that would be State. a good, good pick. Hey, they're doing a whole lot of talk about Zion's return tonight. Let me just tell my audience. Brandon Ingram is not passing the ball up to Zion anymore. That's over with, buddy. Yeah. I get it. He was hyped up coming in. The greatest sensation, the greatest show on earth. I understand that. Brandon Ingram is averaging like 38 points a game. <laughs> Sorry, Zion. You little dunks Kawazo summer. <laughs> Damn. It is what it is, man. Okay. Uh, I'm just happy that he's, you know, he's finally going to get on the floor. Me too. And, and Joe's play. hating. I'm excited. Yeah, I do want to see him play. <laughs> but let's be but let's play. be clear though, it is Brandon Ingram's team though. That's a fact. Sorry, it Zion. It wasn't Zion's team if he was healthy. Zion, no. Z's. <laughs> yeah, no. It's not Z's, man. Maybe let, you let can, the kid play. Hey, dunk later, buddy. <laughs> Brandon uh, Ingram got shit to do. All right. The fuck are you talking about? Uh, you guys gonna go to the NFL draft in Las Vegas? Nope. <laughs> no, Rory. Really. Huh? That's where they're doing it. Yeah, they're doing Rory. it like on on the water. Rory. They're doing it in a Rory, in don't. the pond of yeah. When you get drafted, you have to get on a boat and yeah. you have to take the boat to the stage. <laughs> That's just gonna be nuts. In the Bellagio Fountain, they're doing yeah. it. That's disgusting. <laughs> the Bellagio. Fountain. They just find a way to make this shit a circus every year. Yeah. Just go to Radio City and shut up. Yeah. Right. Walk the stage, shake the commissioner's <laughs> hand, and go back there with your little hat on. <laughs> When me and Maul was playing one of them fucking basketball video games and we bet that one of us would have to sit Indian style in the in the fountain in front of the St. Moritz. Yeah, Yo, you know I found that phone? <laughs> of, of one of you doing that? He, Joe had to sit I in lost. the fountain. <laughs> I lost. I had to go sit I in the fountain. I found that phone. Mad white people dying. showing up like, look at this doof. <laughs> And then see? walk back upstairs wet to my yard. Run it back. <laughs> it's true. You got all this soaking no, wet shit on. Get, get, feel get free to share that video. Get a towel and run it back. Oh, it. oh, feel free to yeah. share that video. Yeah, I'm going to find the phone and bring uh, it. Did you guys see Lizzo and Ari's videos? I'm cool. I did not. I'm I'm happy Rory's that I missed it. No, I really didn't see it. Lizzo and Ari. As someone who shitted on Lizzo on this podcast more than anyone, no, I didn't see it. Be happy to talk about it. Lizzo's performing at the Grammys, right? Of course. Probably. Oh, they doing a special doof tribute? <laughs> <laughs> Why you kill a Lizzo? <laughs> <laughs> Were yeah. they giving her the doof of the year performance? She's no, performing? No, she gonna clean up. Not literally. <laughs> She's but performing. I mean, award-wise. <laughs> she is doofy. And there's a few other... You know what? Lizzo look like the cousin that could fight. <laughs> she probably can. Yeah, she, she like that cousin. Joe up and Rory. True. True. Joe, you hating? Joe, would you come uh, out of would you come out of retirement for a, for a mall mixtape? Yeah, what if mall needed a feature? Bigs, we did it again. <laughs> happy birthday to <laughs> Bigs too. Hip hop, oh, I got you. Oh, all right, happy birthday to Bigs. And hip hop, I got you. <laughs> I know. I see the entendre. I don't know what's wrong with y'all. Gonna respect these bars from Maul, huh? <laughs> and you know I, I do I know, it all. I know, I know, Even I know, on my worst day, I'ma <laughs> stand tall. I know, I know, uh, I know. I with know, the army I know, fatigues, I know. Uh. We got it, we got it. I got it, I got it. I got you got it. a lot of bars from Maul. Quick, especially that flow to it, Maul. I got it, I got it. Wait, you know, keep going, Maul. Go give a ball, uh, fall. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Uh, for yeah. the army fatigue. Yeah, yeah. Maul gonna give you his army fatigue. That, that flow a, needs well, a hip hop started out in the park. <laughs> Yo, Rory, I'm not gonna let you make jokes about Maul's fake verse because before 2020, I said all of us coming here, write your four. You and Parks have not started. I wrote Maul's four. I wrote Maul's four. <laughs> I, I have on. four. Come on, that's, you that's, and Parks ain't even attempt to give me one and a half nothing, and I can't like emulate I do every, y'all. Everything on the spot, bro. Because y'all are white kings. <laughs> I'm not. 
That's you can't not, get off beat like us. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> stay out of the pocket. Yeah. Like Whoa, time Starting out. Too. Time out. Mute the music. I don't give off beat to y'all. The Netflix doc gives it to Dilla, and I I give it to him. <laughs> mm. Why do y'all take off beat when Dilla did that? Your favorite producer, favorite producer. Rest in peace. Fuck out of here, parts. Rest in peace, Dilla. Uh, because it's in our. And you know, DNA. Rory gives it to Dilla too. Of course, <laughs> I love and Dilla. You. Yeah. What? I love That's Dilla. My hero. No, but they smoked that when they got into how he just started ignoring like. The synchronize, the synchronize, yeah. the did it, turn that quantize hey, off. Hey, fuck all that, man! Yeah. Bop, yeah. <laughs> bop behind it. Oh man, it's great. Yeah, I watched because you know Questlove is an admitted nerd of that type of stuff. He did this breakdown on his IG because he's someone that really understands music of Dilla and that offbeat shit on how it should have been and what Dilla did. And I was like, yeah, that's not that's yeah. not supposed to work. Right, <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Also, and it should sound great. What I will say that's going to sound a bit morbid, but I'll say it anyway because sometimes I'm morbid. Most times, I wasn't really, I wasn't really privy to his transition, Dilla. Like that was an abrupt announcement when he passed, and the doc really got into the man that he was and mm. how he made small of some of the biggest things, including his sickness, yeah. mm. including the, all the things Lupus. that he was battling. Yeah. Apparently it was lupus and a few other things. Yeah. Like serious shit that he just kind of downplayed until the people he loved saw him in his final moments, man. I really fuck with how how you decide to, how you live is how you'll go. And I just see that and identify it and I fuck with it in certain people. If you go I listen do. to Donuts, that shit fucks you up. So he made that shit from the hospital bed. And he was like putting mad samples. It's real cryptic, crazy shit. Speaking of the sample, yeah, when they got into Ye and they got into Ye and his whole Rockefeller, I'm a rapper, Blueprint, got six beats on there, four beats, whatever it was. Really good doc, man. I don't want to dick eat, but if you have some time, check it out if you love this shit. Uh, I want to thank you guys for listening again. If you're not a normal listener. Uh, We've been better. No, nah, this was fire. It was good. No, it was a good episode. Yeah, for sure. It was. This, this was fire. I'm just making it a point to tell the new people that don't know anything about us to not take any of this shit personally. No. Nope. Uh, Do we still have to tell people that don't. in 2020? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're audience building. All right, All right. I'm, so tr- I'm wanna, learning to trust you let, guys. We want to let them guys. know that, yeah, that's part of me apologizing for my bad boy spoiler. Okay. <laughs> It was wrong. That was that was, that was, was wrong. wrong. That was a little. You that got was, a little ahead of yourself. Yeah, I got to yeah. get better. Okay. I got to get better. Right. Right. Just recognize yeah. your flaws. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Y'all want to thank y'all for listening. Shout out to Maul's girlfriend, man. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I and yours. Look forward to meeting both of your girlfriends. <laughs> Yo, that's a sick way to close the show. <laughs> Shout yeah, well, maybe we should and yours. And yours. Yeah, yeah maybe Shut we should up. all do like a dinner with all the girlfriends. Right. Yeah, just Jamaica, us. maybe. Yeah. I saw. I saw a meme that said. <laughs> It says something about uh, <laughs> bitches really like a dude when they leave the country and post his hand. <laughs> what? You know how many chicks have posted the Rolex with a tattooed forearm before? Yeah, yeah that was. Yeah, there's one dude the tattoos I'm trying to figure out right now, man. I've seen the post this week. <laughs> like, uh, You've been watching a lot, lot of basketball, trying to figure it out? That's nasty yeah, when you trying to figure I've out the I've seen the post this week. I'm like, I know this hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> seen this hand. Seen this arm in the playoffs yeah, before. Yeah, I dabbed this hand before, man. <laughs> yeah. Who's this guy? Yeah. I've, yo. I've, yo, I've seen that logo before. Yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of before, we, I bumped into uh, Marshawn Lynch in Starlet. Oh, right. Really? Yeah, beast mode. You know what I mean, wow. When he ain't feel like beasting that day, he's chilling. <laughs> Chill mode. It's one of my okay. favorite. Yeah, yeah, one of my yeah. favorite personalities. Beast, Absolutely. Yeah, beast mode. He just did um some dope shit with Cole and who else was on that? I didn't watch the whole thing. Ryan oh, then shut up then. Oh, Ryan Cooper. <laughs> That's just the end of the podcast. I didn't bring it up during. The... No, it's true. It's true. I saw it too. All right, then why aren't you bringing it up? Listen, Cole is interviewing Rihanna. Done announced Rihanna magazine where she interviewing Young and May and everybody. I'm like, all right, man. Let's see what you did, Elliot. <laughs> now Rihanna get us out of here <laughs> Rihanna about to dominate the talking to people game oh, yes sure. wait all you had to do was talk to Drake <laughs> easy <laughs> yeah look at Nori Nori trying to sneak in and battle Elliot Shut, sit down Nori <laughs> <laughs> don't do that I'm joking man I gotta go to Miami and, and, and sit with Nori that'll be dope uh, I mean, I can do a whole doc on the people I bump into uh, in Starless, by the way. The other day, I bumped into fucking Reggie Bullock, Bullock and a few other Knicks. I'm like, fam, after the game I just saw, y'all should not be having a great time with CC. <laughs> well, you shouldn't say that they were there. 
Why? It's gonna be they the one they. This gonna be the one they pull on. They don't be hiding it on on yes in the morning. <laughs> the Knicks, the, the, the Knicks, the Knicks is why Cityscapes is closed now. That is a fact. <laughs> That's a big fact. You fucking <laughs> hootie patootie asses couldn't keep out of there, huh? No. Nah. Right, they found out why. What was that shit y'all said I'd be doing earlier? Canooting. Canoot, Canoot, Oh no, he was in Cahoots. The Knicks was in yeah. there, Cahootin. Yeah, for sure. Fucking Cahootin. How you feel about that? L. The Lakers took more. Give it to us before we get out of here. Uh, that was crazy. Celtics not playing with y'all, or just that Anthony was... Davis first game, first game back, so it wasn't wasn't right. No, I... LeBron got dunked on. No, yeah, that that was. I, I don't know how the Lakers got blown out like that. That was that was crazy. I, nobody had. I was I was talking to my homeboy because he uh, he does the Fanduel shit. And I'm, I called him. I was like, it's that home I know. Talking <laughs> we talking about. I know that everybody <laughs> lost heavy last night because nobody had the Celtics winning that game one, but then nobody had them losing by thirty. Mm. I called. I Facetime him at Fanduel. <laughs> Someone came up. Man, but it's like Kimba never beat LeBron. It was a whole bunch of shit that was going on while people would take the Lakers. Like I don't know, but I don't know, man. They gonna uh, beat the Knicks ass tonight. Who, I was about to say, who do you have tonight? Knicks, Lakers. Come on, man. <laughs> we ain't even gotta do that. Knicks all day. Where's the game being played? Right Garden. downtown on 30, 31st Street. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know where it's at. No, I'm just asking to make sure these Laker niggas don't fuck with my bitches out here. Oh, no, they'll, they'll be there. <laughs> what are you talking I don't about? I know LeBron was uptown last, uh, last night. I know. Yeah, he was uptown last night. Look at, listen to Joe. So I know. Yeah, he, <laughs> he was uptown. Let's mute this music. LeBron was uptown. <laughs> I was like, oh, you yeah, know you what? You guys just, just giving it out there. I thought I was going to go out nah. last night. I, saw, I heard LeBron was on dyke, and I said, no, nah, I'm going to lay down, fam. Yeah, I'm going to go to bed. Yeah, Let's you ain't got no shot tonight. LeBron is a family man, guys. No, no, I'm not saying he's not. They yes, don't care. Yes, we are. The women don't give a fuck. <laughs> that never stopped doing none of them from shooting. Women shot. don't never want to have that talk when they don't care about his family. Oh, come mm-hmm. on. You pod now at the end of the pod. Don't do that. Yeah. Yeah, no. We'll get back to it. Uh, all right. Let me turn this back up. Yeah, LeBron on Dykeman. That's a move. That's like when you and Hove and Beyonce showed up to fucking Dykeman and Sin. Don't put me in that. <laughs> Y'all so nasty. Why you putting me in that? I didn't show up. I'm always the, up there. All the you can't say I show up when I'm nah, always up there. Nah, like, it's like, I ain't gonna show up. Yes, I can. Nah, man, don't do that. I can. All right, man, we getting out of here. Keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Until the next time, I bid you adieu. Peace, arrivederci, adios, hasta la vista. <laughs> Joe was right there in the car. <laughs> he was there, too. Never mind. Sleep, Go ahead. Sleep, sleep in the car. <laughs> Go ahead. Not mad thirsty to fucking get a photo op with Jay-Z like Maul was. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even get to take a I photo. I don't care. I don't <laughs> care. There's nothing that you can say right, that matters right, right, right now. Right, We're getting right. out of here. It's the end of the pod. No time to explain yourself. You're right. Uh, thank y'all for listening, man. Peace. We out of here. <laughs>